this rolling. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, so unfortunately, our boy Kelby is not able to make it here today. He's gone Reese. cray cray. He's gone cray cray. Yeah, Reese, Kelby, William, <laughs> Alexander. Whoever he well, is. Can't, Roberta. Whatever other characters he's played. <laughs> he's gone cray cray. So, let me actually find some music here. Hang on, uh, music. At any rate, I looked right here. Last time on Ashes of a Charlon. Uh, as we all know, the party returned after fighting the Death Giants. They intimidated Roland's, Roland's total gardener. They just, because they decided, you know what, we're going to ride our gamblers high. We're going to go into the Deathless Palace. We're going to free Kelby's girlfriend. And we're going to be heroes. And things did not turn out quite as planned. Mm-hmm. Tell me about it. Yeah. The party... The... <laughs> The party was tricked by Roland into rescuing a simulacrum of her. She uh, was disintegrated by one of Roland's pet wizards. And and uh, Kelby got away. The rest of the party was nearly killed. You uh, didn't die, though. Note I said nearly killed you. You didn't die. You wake up. You've been stripped of your weapons, armor, and and other equipment. You're just basically wearing shirt and pants and underwear, maybe, if you believe in such things. You're all lying on a marble slab. Um, it's, a, it's a big marble slab. It's big enough for all three of you for... Sal for Meepo and for Deronia to lie on. Mm-hmm. And uh, bending over you with arms stretched out in a gesture of welcome is a statue of the Raven Queen. In her, uh, it, it depicts the Raven Queen in her faceless mother of death uh, form. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. All right. Okay. So seeing it's like we just wake up. I'm just like, yeah. ah! and then like, huh? Me, Paul. You're alive. Oh. Oh God, you're alive. Ah? Uh. So? I, I immediately. I over. Yeah. Are we binded? Are we restrained? No, you're not. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I immediately go. Oh uh, no, and... we're, we're we're running straight to each yeah, other. Yeah. Oh. oh my God, you're still alive. You're alive, baby. And then oh, what? You both kicked up. By Dorovnia as she hugs you both. Oh, uh, Dorovnia! Oh my God, you're still like, alive! You guys are alive! I am so happy that you, my friends, are alive. Oh. I am going to hug you forever and never let you go. Yes, please. <laughs> you Kelby, are you here? Uh, Kelby's Kelby? not there. Kel? Kel? No, I don't Kel's see him. not here. No, now that you're able to actually take stock of your surroundings, you see you're in some kind of a large marble mausoleum. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, with aside Raven from Queen the giant statue. slab, yeah. Aside from the giant slab that you're on in the statue of the Raven Queen, there is nothing. There's nothing and no one else in there. Huh? Drone and cast light because she can't see a thing in the dark. Yeah. Uh, yeah I see. Oh, it's total darkness. Interesting. Yes. Okay. So. Oh, I don't uh, think I can see the dark either. No, I can't. So. Yeah, you're a cobalt. You're a kobold, You can. Yeah, me too. Pretty much oh, everything I can? aside from humans can see in the dark. Yeah. Dragonborn don't see in the dark. Yeah, Dragonborn as mm. well. But it's that's hard. true. But uh, so... yeah, Daron is looking around. Like, so what do we do now? Uh, Where are we? Can I do? I don't know, whatever check to determine where we are with the Raven Queen statue. Does that, you know... I know it's vague. We're probably in the yeah. graveyard. 
Oh, probably really? Some kind of graveyard. But you yeah. said we're on marble floor. I thought we were on marble slab. Probably yeah, like in, okay. like mausoleum. in a building. Okay. Yeah, mausoleum. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a big building. Huh. In a graveyard, so. Okay. But you do notice there's writing on the front of the on the front of the marble slab. What does it say? Can we? It's sim It's a very simple. Uh, very simple sign. Very. Uh, it's very simple. It just says. You are now that which all the living fear. You are that cold churchyard shadow, that horrible thing that cannot be, yet somehow is. Hmm. So what are we? It's a riddle. Maybe? Drovni is going to feel herself and say, Well, I am personally me. I don't know about the rest of you, but I, am per I personally believe I am still me. Yeah, we hugged. All of us hugged each yeah. other. We, we don't feel any different, right? Oh, I pinch my own yeah. muscle to see if they're still there. Yeah, can I look at my own skin, like, examine, like, is everything yeah. there, you know, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, everything's there. Huh. Uh, can I read the first line, like, we are what the living fear, is that the line? Yeah, you are now that which all the living fear. Hmm. hmm. Mm. No cheese? Are we no cheese now? I don't uh, think any of us will ever cheese to begin with. Yeah. Ah. We don't have anything with us. Like. Well, so are we? Uh, are we bad people now? Like we in safe? People? Is that what we are? The Roman shows and says, "Well, you know what? Let's uh, let's leave this place and find out." Yeah, yeah sure. Let's, and then let's find an exit. I, uh, huh. Yeah, I get yeah. I get on like Sal's shoulder. Okay. Let's yeah. go. It's a, there's a simple. It's just a simple uh, four walled mausoleum. Okay. Um, so, so there's when, a straight exit, right? Yeah, there's a straight exit, but the door is shut. Uh, but it, it it opens without any real resistance. Okay. So we we. When walk... you, in, you find you are indeed in a massive, massive graveyard. Um, it's also extremely overcrowded. Like there's literally mountains of tombstones. Oh wow. Okay, uh... Yeah. I, um, I look at the uh, tombstones. Yeah. yeah. The tombstones just have names. It, it's the usual names of the people who lived and died. But, uh... The one thing you notice is that there are no dates on there. There's no ages. So, mass graves. But someone still made tombstones? Th that I never heard of. Hmm. Well, you look up at the sky, you look around, you see in the distance the wall, the Great Wall, and you realize you're still in Gloomrot. Yeah. Figures. So it's quite possible that the city produces these gravestones. Hmm. Oh, right. Yeah, that is true. But they, the city also knows their name. Interesting. Hmm. A anyway, uh, no one's is around, right? No, no guards, no hostile no opponents. Uh, nothing. Okay. It's a very, deep. it's actually presently warm. It's Megatron for us. <laughs> Megatron! <laughs> yeah. No, just kidding. Uh, the, vo the, yeah. the voice is a little bit robotic. But yeah, yeah. Like, uh, it seems quite quiet. So, yeah. Meepo, uh, did you yeah. see anything? Nothing, right? It's not. I don't think I did. Hmm. It's not like the um, it's not like the silence where nature holding its breath, waiting for everything to happen. It's like it's the silence of death, the dead. You know. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Let's. Well, walk out of here. I still. Does any of you guys remember remember how we get here? The last thing I Drum remember head. is getting knocked out. Yeah, there says, yeah, the last thing I remember was all those guards surrounding me and poking me with their alberts. Yeah. And, I remember and, screaming. And we are alive and healthy, right? I look at, you mm. know, my body. D d is there any, you know, place still bleeding? Yeah. Does it still hurt? No, your wounds have scabbed over. There's also no, like, mark or anything on you that wasn't there before. Huh. That is interesting. Well, let's walk out. Let's see what hey, happens. I run a real intelligent. Because as a player, I think I know what we are. Nope. No, 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 never mind. I, I won't say shit. Okay, never mind. So, yeah, let's go. 
Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what you are. You're alive. You think yeah. you're like a revenant or something? No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're are not. Are you really truly alive? <laughs> you are alive. Okay. You are very much alive. We we walk out. It doesn't take. It takes you a few. It doesn't it doesn't take you that long to find the wall, to find the graveyard's wall. Mm-hmm. But um, as you walk around and follow the wall, you realize after a couple of hours that there is no gate. Wait, seriously? Couple of hours? What? <laughs> it's a big graveyard. Okay. Yeah, there's no gate, and there's no way to climb to the top of the stone wall. Huh. Additionally, the stone wall also has spikes on the inside pointing downwards to keep, discourage people from climbing up and out. Oh, spikes. Well, we can use that to climb, right? Just yeah, but if we screw up, up, we're going to get hurt. Well, we're going to get shush cup up, but it's fine. Like, uh, let's try it. Uh, uh, I'll try. As you go to the wall, mm-hmm. you hear something something uh, walking up to you, see a lantern, a uh, cl- uh, figure, a, a disheveled looking figure holding a lantern. And as, as you guys are getting ready to climb the wall, the figure looks at you and says, oh, you're leaving already. Ah! Hi there. Uh, we don't want to disturb the peace and quiet in this graveyard any longer than, I w- than we should have. We still have no clue why we're here. I'm deeply sorry if we disturb your uh, peace. It, the, the person just laughs. He says, <laughs> "Don't be ridiculous. You're here because you're dead." Huh? You're Wait, alive what? Because dead? of the po- and you're alive again because of the you're undead because of the power of the city. Wait, undead? We, we are undead now. I use uh, divine sense <laughs> to detect myself. <laughs> Uh, you are not undead. Meepo is not undead. Derovnia is not undead, but the figure who's talking to you is. Oh, oh, whoa there. Hey, uh, you know what? Uh, I whispered to the It's alright. I'm not going to hurt you. He's an undead. Uh, yeah, so, uh, with the... Wait, how does he, how does he look like the undead? Is he like, no, Skeletons, looking undead? Bones? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, he's Rotting still got flesh. a good amount of yeah. flesh on him. Okay. It's it just looks pale. Oh. Okay. okay interesting. Yeah. But uh, he's also wearing a heavy. He's wearing clothes, or cloaks, or a cloak over top of himself, mm-hmm. so you can't see the condition of the rest of his body. Yeah, heavy, heavily cloaked. Yeah. Hey, so he says, uh, go ahead. Oh, sorry, go ahead. You go ahead. He says, "Why leave? You've already died, and this, the city has nothing for you anymore." Rest here for a bit. Uh, it's quite peaceful, I assure you. There used to be uh, vampire gangs until about a couple thousand years ago, and then they all just up and died for some reason. Huh. Well, well no, we have a friend outside here that needs yeah. our help, so so we have to get out of here. He's Everyone probably really worried. Everyone thinks that. Everyone thinks that. Everyone and we're not everyone. They... They say, whoa, I have family out there. I can't be dead. I have friends. I have life. I have business. But the fact is, you're dead. You are dead, and you have risen as an undead. And besides, if you leave, the Ebony Guard is just going to cut you down. Yeah, do you know where we have our stuff? You know, so... I'm sorry? Do you know where's our stuff? So we don't get cut down that easily? he, He says... Nobody, nobody arrives with their stuff here. Not unless they're rich. Ah. Yeah, and we're broke. Everybody that's jumped into the graveyard is stripped of its belongings. Yeah, we're broke. Oh. oh. So we got here by... So our, when just you're... Like, Damn it, my, I, that means I lost my Vorpal sword. Yeah, I lost <laughs> my Admentin armor. I, but... I, I look at Sal and he's like, Oh, so that... Our bodies were brought here then. Yeah, I believe so. That means he'll be still alive. That's why I want to get out. Like the moment I see he's not here, he's he must be still alive. Yeah, it's just the the undead just says, like I said, everyone says that because they don't really get they can't really come to terms with the fact that they were alive and now they are undead. But the thing is, what do you think that instruction meant? 
Yeah, but the thing is, I I don't sense.、Uh, with all due respect, I'm a well, I'm a lowly paladin, but I'm still a paladin. I don't sense we are undead. We are alive as ourselves. So we are、nice. not undead. How do you know your paladin sense isn't tricking you? Uh, they never really failed me before. After all, most people can't tell that they're undead when they first arrive here. But give it a few days; the decomposition will begin, and then、uh, we'll see. Derovnia. Wow. Derovnia. 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 I, I, I'm not dead. I can feel my pulse. Yeah. Oh,、uh, can you? You know what? Do this on me. Can you do turn on dead? If I'm undead,、uh, it's kind of an area of effect, you know. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm fine with it. All right,、uh, he she's gonna back up a bit to make sure that she doesn't catch the undead who's talking to you in the blast. Yeah. And she uses turn undead. Do we feel anything? Just a, this like just flare of holy light comes out of her.、Um, the undead, even though he's not in the blast, he does flinch and raise one arm to shield his eyes.、Mm-hmm. But.、Uh, Cadence and Meepa, not Cadence. Sorry, what's his name? Sal and Meepa are not.、Um, you're not. You don't feel any difference. See? Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're not undead. We're still alive, and we are getting the hell out of here. Because I just remember last time I saw Kelby, he was running away. Like the the guards were on his tail. If we don't find him soon enough, like he will be surrounded. This is bad. Do you know how long you've been in here? Uh, I don't know. D- just because I sure、uh, a few hours. For all you know, your friends could be dead. No,、well, if he was dead, he would be here. Yeah, you're joking. Like they like could said, have killed him and sunk his body in the harbor if he was being chased by the guards. Yeah, but you said they brought them. They brought you know people in here. So I yeah, I doubt people, it. A lot of people come in here. Typically, the common dead and the noble dead. The people, the criminal dead, however, are sunk in the harbor. They're but, taken to executioner dock. They are killed, and then their bodies are sunk in the harbor. But we were also, you know, a, kind of an outlaw. That's kind of in- exciting, actually.、Mm-hmm. I've never been an outlaw in my life. But anyway, that's beyond the point.、Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's really fun. We are, we are, we are. Yeah, we are outlaws, and we're still dumped in here. Well, if you, well, have you checked the graveyard for his body? For all you know, he could be in here. Well, if he outran us, <laughs> then he would be thrown in here later.、Yeah. Which means I look towards. I look towards. But you don't、Sal. know how long you've been in here. Maybe we should just look around just to be sure, and then if we can't find him, leave. Yeah, sure. We we still have. Wait, but do we have the time though? You have plenty of time in this place. I mean. We we want to、If、get out. If the chances Kelby is here and like we leave without him, yeah, that is.、True. I think that's not worth the risk. Yeah, that is true. And Kelby's pretty fast; he'll be fine. All right. And he has that Earth Genasi Master guy. Mm-hmm. You you're right. You're right. I think you're right. Uh, so let's spread out and and look for tombstones, I guess. Or or mausoleum. We, we need to find the mausoleum. Remember, we woke up in mausoleum. Let's find other mausoleums too. Yeah. Yeah. That, oh, wait. That do I have、true. to? Do I have to act like undead and then you see like, ca- like, uh, what's this? Meepo kind of start walking like a zombie. No, silly. Like,、yeah. Yeah, undead. You're undead, friend. He just shakes his hands. Says,、yeah. "No, don't be ridiculous." <laughs> don't. We be don't、rude. judge here. <clears throat> We don't judge here.、Mm-hmm. We're all in the same boat, after all. I、she? I rub Meepo on the head. <laughs> He's like, it's fine. We just we, okay. We we let's hurry up and you know search the graveyard for if Kelby's here. Yeah, sure. Oh, and give me a holler if he's here. Uh, I'll I'll heal him if he's in bad shape. Yeah. All right. You uh pour through the graveyard. It takes a long time.、Mm-hmm. It's it's a very big place. There's a lot of places to search. And、mm-hmm. as you do, you start encountering more and more of the undead. Uh, the undead don't really seem particularly interested in you. Many of them just kind of wander aimlessly.、That、Several just sit or stand, staring at particular gravestones. That is pretty new. Others, others、uh, 
do seem to interact with each other like they like hold conversations or play games huh. but for the most part we're we'll just kind of just walking or staring it's like okay I will walk around and eavesdrop on those who are talking to each other. What do they say? They're actually not talking in intelligent language, just making noise. We have like just they're just making noises, not no words. Mm -hmm. huh. Like whispers. But yeah, like, rambling whispers, just noises. Hmm. Okay, I will carefully walk past them, so uh, so I won't dis disturb them. Yeah, you do yeah. pass a couple that like tend to the graves, almost like a farmer tending to his field. Mm -hmm. Okay, you pass a couple of undead who are just a couple of undead who just stare at the walls, looking at the hoping. To catch a glimpse of the city beyond, mm -hmm. but eventually you do search the entire river and you find no sign of Kelby. <sighs> this is bad. Uh, I regroup with, well, or my friends, and just says, uh, "So we don't see. I I don't see Kelby here. Neither yeah. do I." The road is gonna think for a moment. Say. Well, maybe if you give me a little time, I can probably find a spell that will help me find him. You mean speak with the dead people? No, 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 no. Like, uh, like commune or something. I can pray to the morning lord and see what we can see. Okay. Yeah. 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 Do do what do you want. Just let's try it. Let's give it a go. <sighs> All right. She sits down. She needs to start swapping some spells out. Okay. So she's just gonna start. So she's gonna start praying. Okay. Uh, um. I will try to learn the whatever she's doing, like uh, it, not not the spell itself, but you know, praying rituals and stuff like that. Yep. Uh. Me versus gonna run around the park. Yeah. <laughs> she needs money. Though to cat. She needs. Uh, we have nothing. <laughs> Yeah. We have no physical wealth. Yeah, she the spells that she had she can use our need she needs uh, components to cast. Oh shit. Does she have a holy can I, symbol? Can I, look on her? can I look around to no. That's bad. No, no, no sorry. Unfortunately you're Just in a graveyard. In... Let's it's time to go for a little grave robbing. Yeah. 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 I mean if we find the rich we, we can steal from them. Yeah, but that is true, but the stealing does leave a bit of a bad taste in my mouth. Yeah, and well, also, didn't they said they stripped, you know, people down and tossed them yeah, in Yeah, when here? they dumped them in, but uh, perhaps oh. they don't, perhaps the rich people bury them with their wealth. Okay. Perhaps you know what? That, uh, main... You know what? I, I'll, I'll do it. <sighs> like, we, we need something. It, it kind of isn't robbing someone uh, if we are in dire need, and I would... I would say I'm really sorry, and I don't know, do some offering or some stuff. Yeah. Well, if they're already, like, what if they're not here? No, have it, because uh, the guy said some people already tried to leave. What if someone left without their wealth? Yeah, you know what? Let's search the graveyard. Let's yeah, 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 the with, guy without appears, like, right behind you. Just, like, walks ah! out of the mist. Is this? No, I'm talking about the dead, silly. What? Most people, they can't really accept that they're dead. So what you're seeing, all the undead that you see just sitting around, play-acting in life, they're coming to terms with that. Yeah. Come to terms with it. Uh... So what if someone fully accepts that they're dead? And they're undead, and they have to turn to spend the screen up. Uh, sorry, you were cutting out a little bit, uh... Yeah. Sorry, no, basically... This just went on. Basically, you were saying that... When you accept that you're undead... Oh, no, uh... You I was just saying, like, you, your voice is doing that robotic sound again. So... Uh, Alright, I'm gonna just connect. Hang yeah, on. Yeah, just... Thank you! Sorry, I... 
Couldn't hear a thing. Alright, that should be better. It should. It is. Okay, that's good. Oh, um, but yeah, basically it's... If you accept that you're undead, then you know what? You're just undead. That's it. Okay. okay. Alright. Let's... Let's search the graveyard first. Don't dig up anything yet. Just search if they hang anything on, you know, the tombstones. Anything we could yep. use. The Rovnir needs uh, incense and an offering. Okay. Yeah. What specifically of what what kind of offering? Yeah. What kind of? Cheese. Uh, not cheese. <laughs> trying to think like what kind of offering would be appropriate for a god of the sun. Uh, probably some like depiction of the sun. You know? Okay. I but understand. it has to be worth at least twenty-five gold. Okay. Okay, we can find something. Let's go. Let's try it. It's just gonna be casting divination. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, are we? You know. Mechanically speaking, are we healed? Yeah. Okay. So you've that been means out for a couple of days. Okay. You've been out for a couple of days at this point. Okay, that means spells are back as well. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's more reassuring. You search around for a bit. Um, you do find uh, some leftover offering from a previous uh, a previous funeral, which includes a bit of incense. Okay, that's good. Anything else? All right. I'm gonna need you to make an investigation check to try to find uh, <laughs> to try to find the, the offering that Derovnia needs. I'm Be gonna just, for the clash. Yeah, how high, uh, from a level of minus one to one. seven, are you in minus. investigation? <laughs> minus. <laughs> Your uh, is. I mean. From a scale of one you. to seven, or or zero to seven. <laughs> the, the negative one. Oh, Excuse I me. zero to ten. I have a zero. Modifier. Yeah, I I have a zero. I will help. Thank you. Let's give it a go. Fair, yeah, yeah, natural twenty. That no, works. Is natural twenty. Oh, thank um, God. You do look. It takes a little while, but you actually do find. In, you do find uh, crushed into the dirt. Mm -hmm. um, you do find a little golden sun. Oh, okay. Is that a like a Me. symbol? You don't not a holy symbol now, okay. but it is uh, it just, it probably like, like a, a gold plated child's toy. You think? Okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah, All right. So you find it crushed into the dirt near someone in front of someone's grave. Mm -hmm. As you take it, like the spectral undead that's looking at the grave, sees you take it, just gives a little sigh. Uh, but otherwise doesn't interfere. I just, you know, put my hands up, like, you know, like praying style, and just bow uh, to the spirits. Yeah, no, it's uh, yeah. it's more like... It's not like anger or anything, it's more like resignation. Yeah, I, I know, uh, I was just... Like, this thing is just giving up. Yeah, I was just and hoping... Spirit, and this is just like one more reason to give up. <sighs> we'll, we'll return this. I assure you. No, I thought this spell consumes it. Oh, okay. shit. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I'll give you back, uh, cheese tenfold when you again. Yeah. It just sighs again. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's it for me. I'm gonna go. It's, it just, it seems depressed. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, going away from where. The, uh, from the undead. Mm -hmm. Drone is going to kneel down and start performing the divination ritual. Alright, I handed her the incense and, you know, the golden sun. Alright, so it takes her an action. Mm. I'm what gonna question... sit next to her and pray as well. Yeah. Yeah. What question would you like her to ask? Is Kelvi still alive? 
How, how race, many questions can we ask? No, no, no. First, how one. many questions can we ask? You get one question. Oh shit. Where's Kelby? Is probably the best one because we can just determine yeah, life by that. Yeah, true. Where is Kelby currently at? Where is Kelby currently? Yeah. Please. Are we really undead? No. <laughs> we, we just want to find <laughs> I mean, no, Kelby. No, we are not undead. We're, We're not, not denying. Not. We're still alive. Yeah, unfortunately, she's not high enough to have commune. Oh! Uh, she can use augury, though. Can I... Wait, later, if we get more components. Um, but uh, she gets the answer, she just says, she looks like she says, Well, the good news is Kelby is alive and in the dust quarter. Oh, good. He's alive, then. That's good. Let's go. Wait, no wait, when you say the good news is, does that imply bad news? The bad news is we have no control over what happens. So he could be alive right this instant, but on the verge of death. Yeah, but and he he's a smart, smart guy. Isn't... Yeah. All right. You'll be alive. Um. All right. Also, she is. She can also cast augury. Mm-hmm. And if you want to like know like the outcome of a specific action. What do we can want try, to know? but do we can we do it now or do we look for us? Yeah, shouldn't we find a way out of here first? Before we you know. Let's not mention is that. There a way out? Sorry, Sorry, is that. there even a way out of here? Does our agree help us with that? No, it doesn't. Henry could tell us what happens if we try to leave Graveyard. Okay. Just... If I were a stronger spellcaster, I'd be able to cast Commune, and I could ask three questions. Mm-hmm. Augury but, should do uh, fine. Augury, but Augury also requires uh, sacrifice as well. What type? I am checking the player's handbook. Give me a moment. <laughs> 25 um, gold pieces worth of sticks, bones, and... Yeah. Mark they specifically marked as well. So it has to be yeah, specially marked for the sun. Set. For the... Yeah, yeah, she needs some kind of divination tool. Mm. I don't think we're gonna find those here, yeah. especially the Morning Lord in the, the Raven Queen's graveyard. Mm -hmm. Well yeah, she just says, yeah. That is uh that is quite true. Mm. Alright. We have a strat. Well, <sighs> What do we do now? Let's, Let's look for a way out of here, because yeah. if other people tried to leave before, that means we're we even walked around the. We already walked around the graveyard, there is no gate leading out. We climb. We climb up. There and we get out of here. Yeah, there are spikes on the walls, but that also means we can use them yeah. to climb. That is true, but... Uh, but uh, is just, she's just gonna sit down and say, Let's assume for a moment we get out. Let's assume we make somehow make it past this ebony guard that patrols the perimeter. Let's assume we get back into this city alive and wearing what we're wearing now. Mm -hmm. What do we do then? We, we find, have no money. We find Kelby. We find our allies. Think we're dead. We, we find our ally. Tell them we're not dead. How do we know Kelby is? How do we know Kelby hasn't left the city at this point? Well, remember he has that, he has uh, his mentors. Remember he also has that ring, that lets him contact Aisha. He could use that to get himself out of here when he got himself safe and he thought we were dead. Uh, well, if he was gonna use that, he would have used it already. Yeah, he would have been Maybe. gone for quite some time. Again, but I don't know. We don't know. Like I said, it was just that when I cast Divination, it was at that time. For all we know, he could have been telling Jania that the deal was off, that his friends were dead, and he wants to go home. If that's well, what he wished, we were here to help him in the first place anyway. If the deal was off, I mean, we can still find Jania and have her send us back to reunite with Kelby. <sighs> Right? Yeah, I, I know, but the thing is, 
the thing is, like I said, my divination spell doesn't it only it doesn't take into account things like spells that might be cast. Mm-hmm. So if I were, for example, to ask, will such and such a house will such and such a house in some town be knocked down? The answer could be no. But it doesn't take into account the fact that I say cast earthquake and knock the house down. Mm-hmm. You know what? There's so, too many unknowns. Exactly. No, that's. Well, it. if that's. Go ahead, Justin. Go well, ahead. well, I think personally, uh, Calby's not gonna leave the city, but I think even then, I don't think we can leave without you know those ebony guards. They seem really strong, so. I think we just have to figure things out here first before you can eat. Yeah, there really is to say. Well, look, if we really want to leave, push comes to shove. We find a few, we wait until the funeral session comes, procession comes in, and then we insinuate ourselves with them and we walk out with them. Okay, that makes sense. So what do we yeah. do until then? But that could take forever. We don't know how long Kelby has. I mean, I've I I want to play this safe. I definitely don't want to rush things, but I also feel like you were right uh, when you did, you know, what you did. Kelby might in desperate conditions. He might need our help. We don't know that. Yeah. The longer we, we have wait, no, I'm in. Well, so maybe you're different. Maybe you have invisible weapons. I can't see, but I have nothing. <sighs> I need to why. These claws don't do much. Yeah. Yeah, my. I, I mostly heal. I don't really, you know, melt things. That's kind of your job. I don't smite. That's your job. You you smite. I heal. I'm not even sure. Unless we can rob can a grave smite. that has, you know, weapons and armor that happen to be our size. Hmm. Yeah, I think we just wait until for this funeral. How, uh, I want to ask the, the, I don't know, caretaker, whatever the figure is. <laughs> the guy that pops up every time you yeah. say, leave it, yeah. boom. <laughs> yeah. Maybe uh, you should say it so he'll, be, he'll come back. Like, I shout out, yeah, we should totally just climb the wall and leave. Hang on. Because we're I'm not gonna... done then. <laughs> Hang on. I am going to change the server region, all right? Okay. okay. See if that helps. Hmm. Maybe we should climb the wall because we're not dead and leave. All right, there we go. Yeah, that help. That should help. Mm-hmm. Did that work? Is it correct? All right, we're we're gonna have to stress test and see. I mean, it was connected to Sydney, Australia. Yeah. So I connected it back to to the eastern US. So that should help. But you can hear uh, us right. now, right? You can hear us. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Meepo yeah. was asking. Meepo was shouting out loud, saying yeah. we are gonna get out. So. Did the caretaker show up? <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, you're here. Hi. Actually, I've been following you this whole time. What? You, you've done an amazing job, and uh, just I just want to ask, how often does you know those people who dump the bodies came by? What they do is they actually have a large wooden scaffolding built up against one side. They drive their carts up the scaffolding and then dump it over. They dump the bodies over the side. It's mm. rather undignified for the dead. See you guys. We, we take. We have to take care of most of the burials here, but every so often the rich do come in to bury their dead in mausoleums. No mass graves for the wealthy. Mm. How often? As often as it takes for one of them to die, which is actually surprisingly often, given the m- number of wars that they fight. So the time is unknown, though it's often. It's typically once per day. Wow, that's so pretty often. That's often. That's okay, then let's a wait. Lot of noble houses. Okay, but uh, like I said, if you are really that hell bent on leaving, just. Wait, give it to uh, give it a bit. The last one came in about 30 minutes ago. Oh, so that's nice. Damn it. 30 minutes before you woke up, I mean. Okay, shit. So you have about a day to wait. So just rest, relax. 
Okay, that sounds fine. Can I inside Maybe. check the caretaker? Go right ahead. <laughs> I want to know. He, he seems he seems pretty truthful. Okay. But you can't really think like what motive he'd have for lying. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess. Maybe we talk stay. to the dead. I See what they know. Well, they're all doing hissy sound. I don't think... Oh, they just do that to each other. They are more than willing to converse with the living. Okay. Interesting. And when he says living, he makes quotes with one hand. <laughs> <laughs> the living. Nice. <laughs> Alright. I like your humor. Why are so you here, just... though? Just, interest, just out of curiosity, why, why are you staying here? Because I really, because I'm dead and I have nowhere else to go. Hmm. You don't want to, you know, go rest in peace forever. I can't rest in peace. I'm undead. I'm not even sure I can rest. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, don't, don't you want to, you know, forever rest in peace? <sighs> He thinks for a moment, he says, well, that's the curious thing. The person I was in life, that soul is gone. It's fled to the afterlife. Raven Queen only knows where it went. Uh -huh. But me? I'm a different person. I just happen to have the memories of the person I was in life. That is interesting. Hmm. Like a new spirit rise upon the dead body. You could say that, yes. Okay. So, how long have you been in here? Oops. A couple thousand years, I'd say. That is... Of, of your time. Time doesn't really have that, many, that, that much meaning in Gloomrot. That is a damn long time. What... But you don't you get tired of you know doing all this over and over? I don't really get tired. I I am not saying physically. I'm saying mentally. <laughs> don't you feel like just the same burden all day every day? No, I don't really get that. I don't really feel that way. You just you get used to it. I've never encountered a peaceful undead quite like you. <laughs> it's not peaceful, it's more apathy. Yeah. To be honest. There's plenty of undead here. Most, if we were to rally together, we could probably mount the wall and destroy the Ebony Guard. But you don't see the but need in doing that, right? We just really don't. We don't see the need. Mm. We don't even really have the motivation, even if there was a need. Mm. There are a few who refuse to rest quietly and do try to build their own zombie army with the intention of trying to overrun the Ebony Guard. What happened but to them? It takes a lot to motivate the dead, particularly the dead of Gloomrot. Mm. They don't really get that far. They get maybe up to the, well, they get maybe up to the wall when they realize that the army of the undead is still just milling around, back where they started, just completely uninterested. Hmm. Okay. Well, I uh, Sal doesn't have no word. Like he he doesn't he has never encountered such mellow, you know, <laughs> undead. It's not mellow. Like I said, they just I know, they don't but do like, it like they don't see the points. Yeah, like for for them it's not, but for Cell it's mellow. It's like they're just yeah. going on with their lives, where they're anti-life, but unlife. <laughs> yeah, unlife, but just it 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 just kind of. Interesting. It's just he never seen anything quite like it. And uh, so yeah, he he will just 
like looks at Dorovnia and Meepo, just like... So... Well, I guess we'll have to wait. No, why not wait at the, you know, at the indoors. Let's go inside. And just... Yeah, these, these people are like giving me the creeps. <laughs> uh... Eh, he's a nice fellow, I would say. And, uh... Um, it just says... Uh, the dead of Blumrat are like that. We learned long ago that it doesn't pay to antagonize the Sable Church. Hmm. It used to be they'd send crusades in every so often. You know, just to purge the more violent undead. But like I said, they were the more violent undead were mostly a gang of vampires and they died a few thousand years ago. Just out of nowhere, they just melted. It was quite startling, I do say. You said they melted. Melted how? Yeah. Like ice cream under the sun? Yes, but very, very quickly. Huh. Were they blasted by solar energy? Sorry, no, solar no, it's energy. like some Radiant thing was energy. holding them together. It's more like something was holding them together and then that something was taken away. Hmm. I, I as a player, know what it is, but as Cell, I have no clue. It's like, huh. <laughs> Derovnia, have you ever heard of anything quite like this? Derovnia just says, no. I mean, I know that vampires almost, are almost entirely extinct from the world, and they have been for some time. Wait, what? But I never, Seriously? I never heard why. Huh. I, I always thought that vampires couldn't die out. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. They're just very, so very rare now. They're, they might as well be extinct. Yeah. What? Wait, wait. I think you once said that from where you came from, there's strong vampires. Do I remember correctly? What it saying from where she came from? Yeah. I'm not sh entirely sure if my memory serves me right. No, well, where she came from, from Barovia, it used to be ruled by a vampire thousands of years ago. Ah. But not anymore. Okay. That's nice. Okay. Well, good to know the vampires are gone. At least we won't get anyone to, you know, bother us. Hmm. All right. Uh, let, let's get some rest, I guess. Alright, so you're gonna go back to the mausoleum you woke up in? Yeah. Alright, and we will wait here until Justin gets back. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh so god! The vampires died out? Wow, that was yeah. some powerful play what okay. you thought that what you did had no effect on the world yeah i seriously thought this is like okay someone wants to be a deity but yeah i ripped it out nah. and that's it <laughs> <laughs> that is that is fascinating that's really cool i like the idea yeah. what's yeah. happening oh no oh, nothing the vampires are going extinct uh from due to the actions in campaign one yes Yes, yeah, some thousands of years ago, some time, and all the vampires somehow just melted. Like, hmm, 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 hmm. hmm. Just yes. when some girl grabbed her <laughs> path towards <laughs> deity. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, there's that. Yeah. So now you're all in the back of your old mausoleum, just waiting. Yeah. Just waiting for someone to dump the body to show up. Yeah. <laughs> so, what are you guys gonna do while you wait? Just sit around? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check up on the Raven Queen statue. Raven Queen statue is still there. <sighs> so, I. It, I want to sit down and do a little bit, not praying, more like talking to myself. 
meditation yeah m- more like talking to myself in my uh, mind yeah which I'll be like uh hey there uh I know I've not been doing <clears throat> quite well under your well blessing whatever uh and I I definitely did it out of reason uh, but that doesn't mean I don't respect you. It's just that uh, I, ca- I find it really hard to actually believe again. Well, no offense. I'm really sorry. Uh, yeah, I, I just don't... I know you're not that kind of deity. I never just want justice or anything. Uh, but I've always thought that you could at least provide some peaceful and quietness. Uh, it's it's hard. I know I'm like a near mortal, and I have no place in you know speaking to you as a deity. And uh, I I understand that, but I just feel like. I I want you to know I didn't do it because I resented you or anything. But I still hold really high respect to you. It just I just find it hard. That is all. Yeah, Jerome is listening, and then she says she uh, comes to you and she says, she just very simply says. It's a, this is a case of you need to trust the deity, not the institution. Sal <sighs> sighs in a long, like, tiresome sigh, like he's pushing all the air out of his lungs. Yeah. And he was just like, but we are supposed to be her, well, any deity's avatar. We, we, we are supposed to, you know walk on the land do whatever best suited to for our deity and this is not okay or like the, the institute it's corrupted and it's not There's, okay well i know unfortunately that is tr- that is a true that is a very hard truth a lot of institutions have good people in them but a lot of them also have bad people the trick is trying to weed the good from the bad. You're never going to have an institution that's entirely 100% free from corruption, unfortunately. I I want to believe, like, I really do. And I've had believed. But now, uh, I want to believe in the ideal, you know. Like, uh, I I want to believe there's warmth, there's light. I just, I want to uphold that. I want to be, well, I... You want to be the comfort for the bereaved. Yeah, I, I, I want to, I want to uphold the ideal. Not, not just, if you know what I'm saying, I want to uphold the principle. I, I want to be protecting those principles. Because, like, all the gods, with all my respect, they are so far away from us. And if you don't believe in the ideals, corruptions happens. Yeah. So. So at the end of the day, we cannot control what others do. But I, I want to control what I, I do, as myself. I want to I'm believe. Sorry, can you repeat that, Robin? I'm sorry, I cut out. Sorry, I, I want to believe what I, I want to be in control of myself. I I want to be uh, the protector of those principle of those ideals. The the gods, uh, with all my respect, uh, they are a little further away from us, and yeah. they they they, they are suck. they they have their. <coughs> Well, troubles. So, I don't know. 
Dorobnesis. Well, each god gives us an ideal. Each god has a vision as to how their followers should behave. No, but that's the thing. All we can do, I want... we can do is try to live up to that idea. We can't force others to do it without magic. Yeah, that that is true. I I, I wouldn't but, do that any yeah, but, in a million years. I wouldn't do that. Neither would I. But like I said, we cannot control how other people react. I cannot control, for example, you could decide to to put a divine smite on your fist and punch me in the face right now. I can't control that. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Like, as of this moment, uh, let me clear this up. As of this moment, I find it hard to believe in deities. But I, I do very much want to believe in the ideals. You find it hard to believe in them because we tried and failed to attack the Deathless Palace. No, it's been it's been quite a long time. Like mm. you you saw what I, you know. Oh yeah, I, the mind flares. I, yeah, how can like, I forget? like what the stuff I've been through, and I I just feels like guard is a little bit too far away. Mm. Yeah, I, I want to believe in something. Not not an not an entity, not 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 a not a person, not a not a you know someone with their own agenda. I, I want to believe in those principles that we created as 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 mere mortals. <laughs> that this is this is hilarious. <laughs> I I know. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm it, talking to a worshiper of. Uh, just how do yeah. you know that mortals created right. those principles? How do you know the gods didn't create those principles and give them to us to live out <laughs> as best we can? I don't. I mean, if you're worried about mind flayers, about the mind, if you're thinking about the mind flayers, they don't obey any principle but their own. Uh, they view gods as giant brains to be devoured. I mean, I know nothing about mind flayers, but I'm, I'm just assuming. Yeah. Yeah. You see Meepo's like kind of like just tapping you at the at the at the at the leg. Mm -hmm. it's like I don't know like all of these like god stuff, but I mean, what do you believe in? So like takes a deep deep stare at the statue and then just looks back at Meepo and just says I believe I want to be a protector. Then you don't you don't need to believe in a person to do that. You can protect people without them. I mean But is I want Kelby to believe. But I want to believe. Cell uh, just stutters to find words for a moment and then he says I've been taught to believe in something uh my whole life, basically. I, I I know you don't have to protect someone. Uh, you, you don't have to believe in some deity to protect someone. But I want to believe. The door to the mausoleum opens. And it's not the caretaker that was him, but just this little this little girl in a white dress. Mm -hmm. And just walks in. And I can't. Sorry. Did I, did I cut out there? No, no, no. no you were right. not. You, you were totally fine. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, this, like I said, this little girl in a white dress just walks in. Like, she can't be more than, t than eight or nine years old. Oh, uh... She, walks in, she just looks up at you guys with these big, eye big soulful eyes. Hi there. Hello Hi. there. Hello. Hello. Uh, this is a dangerous place? Not really. If everyone here is undead, then... <laughs> Really? There's no point in killing each other. True. Not but really. hi! It's not that dangerous. But I came here to... I came here to encourage you, Sal. How? Wait, you know her? Wait, Sal? You know her? I'm trying to think... You don't know her. Yeah, I have no clue. Uh, have we met Don't before? worry, I'm not a god. I'm just very well-traveled. Hi. Okay. Hi. 
Uh, you said you want to encourage me? How? Yeah, you said you want to believe. Then believe. You say you can't believe, you can't, you're finding it hard to believe in, it hard to believe in the people. Then don't believe in them. Believe in their ideals. They have a, they have, some of the gods, they have, they might be reprehensible creatures, but they have good view, good vision of the world. I think that sounds right. Yeah. Me too. The Morning Lord, for example, he kind of just sits around. He does nothing, but he he does nothing but just sit in his little palace up there all day. <laughs> Look, like, there wait, 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 yeah, wait, wait, wait. I'm I'm suddenly kind <laughs> of thinking Warhammer, <laughs> like sit in his golden toilet, <laughs> just just yeah. saying. Just the emperor. Just, <laughs> just, his idea, but he has an idea. Oh, his ideals of hope, of mercy. Even if he does nothing to enforce those ideals, those are still ideals that are worth living and dying for. You are. Right. You you are absolutely right. Cell Cell looks a little bit more reassured at this point. It's like I yeah, I I, I guess I'll try to be If you have a hard time believing in the gods, at least believe in the ideals that they're champion. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe the reason why they have paladins is because they're not able to do anything. So that they do these things, or like they grant you power. That's so that silly. They are powerful. They are really the, powerful. The little girl looks at Meepo and she says, Meepo. What? They have power. They yeah, have but I'm saying that they... switch down into the mortal realms. They just choose not to. Yeah. Well, that, that's Meepo, it's alright. There has right. to be a reason for everything. I'm just trying to be optimistic, if that's the word. Well, there's that's the a word. reason. I mean, it's a reason. There's a re they have reasons. The re great one being that there's that if one god just starts meddling everywhere, then all the gods start meddling, and then there's no mortal races left. Yeah, that sounds like a very good reason. Mm -hmm. I want to be alive. Yeah. But like I said, just if you can't believe in the gods, at least believe in their ideals. Yeah. And they'll be real, like cheese. I believe cheese is real. <laughs> cheese exists regardless of whether or not you believe in it, maybe. <laughs> so the ideals. <laughs> cheese is not an ideal. It that is, a is... No, but the metaphor is, is there. Idea. But the metaphor is there. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. I, I pat uh, Meepo on the back. Just like on the shoulder because you know he's a little bit shorter than me. I yeah. pat him on the shoulder as like you're right. You're both right. I, I I want to be the beacon of of someone's hope. I, I wouldn't say all that I you know all of the people, but I, I want to be Whoa. <laughs> okay. A I wind a strong yeah. wind blows over <laughs> Sal's face. <laughs> Yeah. I, I, I look towards Sal and he's like, Sal, I mean, you're that for me because I was enslaved and then you guys saved me. So you already are a beacon of hope. For me, anyway. Thanks. That know. is true. Yeah, thanks. See, so and then you. I give him like a hug around the legs. See, and yeah. I'm just like, and you can do that for a lot of other kobolds too. And humans. And elves. And cheese. We'll but discuss the la last correct. part, but <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah, we can eat all the cheese that need to be eaten. That is their life's purpose. <laughs> That's why we need to eat them. <laughs> that and, is true. Uh, get the girl, little girl, just nods and says, "I'm glad I was able to help." You Who are, are you? Very helpful. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, she looks at you, cook me, and she says, "To answer your question, who am I?" I am yeah. I'm Batman. <laughs> I am. I'm Batman. I am Terry. I am Terry. <laughs> Miss Terry. Uh, <laughs> Miss Terry. Oh, Terry, my, oh my God. God. <laughs> okay, Miss Terry. <laughs> now, I do. Nice meeting you. Yeah. If I were you, you should probably push the mausoleum, push the slap forward a little. Huh? If you want Which weapons one? and armor, you can find some underneath. Oh. What? 
Interesting. No, okay. excuse me. I need to go visit Kelby. Wait, uh, is wait he, what? He's still alive, right? He is still alive. Is he okay? The poor wait, bring, a, wait, no, bring us with okay. him. No, I can't. I'm sorry. Oh. 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 Yeah. oh. I can tell you this. The poor fellow is at the end of his rope and he needs comfort. Yeah, we need to save I'll him, guys. I'll let him. He's safe. He's safe. But the kind of help that he needs, only I can give him. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I pat on Meepo's him, shoulder, just like, we'll, we'll find him. And I look at we'll her, just him. like, just says, uh, please take care of him. Uh, I can't mother him, but I can hopefully bring him, help bring him back from the edge of insanity. Thank you. He took the simulacrum trick hard. Ooh. I have no idea what that is, SL. <laughs> I have no clue. Yeah, well. Okay. So you remember, yeah, she's not going to explain. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to bow. Remember, I'm gonna bow under, the, under, yeah. the, under the slab. Thank you. And you bow to her, she bows back to you and then turns and she, she turns and leaves. <sighs> okay. All right, we're doing this. And Sal moves to the the slab and just yeah, try to push also it. Doesn't, Drone is also going to help you push it, and the slab actually moves. It's covering a set of stairs leading down. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, let's go, let's go. Okay. We're going under. <laughs> All right, so go under. Drone, I, uh, I look at Dronia uh, on the way and just says, yeah. when, when she casts light, I just, I just says, do you know who that might be? She shakes her head. Okay. Just a nice bypasser, I guess. Nice passes by. Yeah, passes by. Sorry. Yep. Uh. All right. And when you go down, um, the mist from the graveyard follows you down the stairs. And a drove his light illuminates the walls of the, underneath. It's just underneath the muslin. It's, it's this giant catacomb. Ooh. There are dozens of skeletons and zombies in rusted armor laying in little alcoves on the walls. It's and it stretches on as far as you can see. Do they tr appear hostile? Oops. Do they appear hostile? No, but like I said, I'm sorry. The internet is wonky on my side. It's cool. It's cool. It's, it's not you. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, they don't appear hostile. Although when you do go down and you start examining them, one of them looks at you and just whispers, Is it time yet? What time? Is it time to lay waste to the city? Not just yet. Uh, huh? Wake me when it's time. Okie dokie. Okay, okay just we will. Looks back and just rolls back. And I just, like, just take, uh, walk closer to me, and just says, you know, just be very careful. And not yeah. wake him up. Yeah. Yeah. This is bad. Don't, don't yeah. say anything. Yeah. Yeah, but... yeah, actually, I would like you all to make a nature checks because this Ooh. is a giant underground maze. Nice. Nature. I have hey, zero. Nature. Wait, would it be survival? Uh, all right, well, whatever. You had your old for it. Yeah. Me yeah, too, nature. nature. Not bad. Yeah, it, it should have been survival, but yeah, no. Uh, yeah, Sal, with Sal's help, you're able to avoid getting completely and totally lost down there. <sighs> Thank God. <gasps> Look around. It is a maze. There's intersections, there's staircases, shafts. All the walls are lined with alcoves. All the alcoves are holding undead. Hmm. Okay. This is... Someone was planning an uprising, apparently. 
<laughs> yeah, zombified uprising. Yeah. That, she doesn't say where. <laughs> the yeah, she didn't say where. No. Um, but you eventually end up in what you assume is the deepest part of this massive crypt. Okay. Um, you enter, a, you come to this large circular chamber. Mm hmm. Ooh. It's a very it, like a large, about half of it is shrouded with impenetrable darkness that you can't see through. Okay. Um, it's uh, almost like a throne room in a way. Mm -hmm. uh, it, you guys have seen the Samurai Jack, the last season of Samurai Jack? No. Oh, uh, no, sorry, I have it. It's no. fine. No, it's fine. It's a, it's a large throne room. It's fine. Oh, by the yeah. way, speaking of Samurai Jack, a new game is coming out. I know. Yeah. Um, where is the thing? Here it is. This is, I will see if I can get my hands on the view image. Here, I'll post this in the Discord chat. Mm -hmm. This is what it looks like. This channel. This is what it looks like. Ooh. This is what the throne room looks like. Ah, it's like uh, Thor Ragnarok when Hela broke <laughs> the the lower yeah. floor and reveals, you know, the the tomb. Yeah, yeah, that's probably more like it. Nice. <laughs> yeah, the, and like I like the picture shows in the center of the tomb. There's this large dais with a throne sitting on top of it. Ooh. And sitting on top of the throne is this mangled body, this rotting mangled body. And you get, as you get a closer look, as you walk closer, you see it's actually not one body, but it's actually three bodies that have been twisted together for one grotesque hole. Oh, what? Mm. This is bad. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, I look at the body. Yeah, it's, like I said, it's three mangled bodies yeah. twisted together. Um... I look the at Doronia, actually. Yeah. I, I look at Doronia and just says, you know, this this poor fellow seems suffered. I, uh, um, as you say that, the body shifts and all the three heads look at you and you say, air whispers saying, why have you disturbed us? Ah, we sorry. Were, I, we were instructed to come down here to pick up some stuff and there is nothing for the living down here I'm a little bit we're not living we're undead yeah we're undead that's what we're told that's what you we are, are not undead so we were right oh, oh. my brain is so confused <laughs> <laughs> Sal I just like you here. Uh, I look this out in the room, yeah. Uh just so, 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 like I, I don't know what to do here. This is beyond my area of expertise. I uh, Let's just keep going, you know? They can't do anything. It stands okay. up. Shit. <laughs> ah! It says Why are you here? We Because we need to help you. someone. Did, Did the prince send you? A princess. Miss Terry sent us. Yeah, Miss Did Terry sent. Prince Roland send you. No, we were no. we were almost killed by Prince Roland. Yeah. And you are no friend of the prince. He's a jerk. We almost died. The figure sits back down and says, "Sixty years ago." We stood against the prince. Wait, you were the guy. You were the leader. We were not the leaders. We were the powerful magic support. But Roland killed us and twisted us into the thing you see before you. That must have hurt. Hmm. It did. We have been building our armies. Waiting for the day that we can rise against the city and throw the prince down. Hmm. What? What was the why? There was a wise man once said, "The friend of my, but uh, enemy of my enemy is my friend." Okay. A wiser man said, "The enemy of my enemy is my enemy's enemy." 
no more, no less. But your enemy's enemy could inform you Prince Roland's, well, weaknesses. What weakness does the prince have? He needs to siphon life from someone so that he could live as long as he could. But do you know... He has dozens of them. Uh, but do you know this one right here? Uh, yeah, he, he's got her. Like this one particular special one. He protects one. all his life, so his mountains of youth. Mm. With the same vigor. Yeah, but he's about to do it, right? Mm. I I'm asking the DM now, mm. as a player. What? Uh, Roland is what about to perform the ritual of siphoning power from. Yeah. Yeah. No, Roland has been doing it for some time. But he's taking it a little bit here, okay. a little bit there, making sure never to drain the well dry too quickly. Okay. Hmm. Uh, Kel is like, SL is like wrapping his head, thinking what he can, you know, offer as a trade of information to let the creepy undead leave him, leave them alone. <laughs> the creepy undead looks at you and just says, "You want to leave this place?" Absolutely. We want to find our yeah! friend and fight Roland. That's all we want. We can stick it to him. Yes. I will happily give you my armies to- I will lead them. We will lead them to fight with you. <gasps> Sal, this is it! This is huge. We have help! Not what exactly what I expected, but yes, help nonetheless. Oh, by the way, do you but know I, a Dracolich? I have a question. A Sorry. Dracolich. Yeah, Roland kept- Roland kept the Dracolich chained uh from where we ran off yes and, i've heard the tales yeah there was a cult of orcus that used to live in the deathless palace before roland took power Ooh. yeah and the dracolich doesn't seem to like roland that much either it does not roland the cult of orcus was the impetus for roland's little coup d'etat hmm Okay. He destroyed the Dracolich's masters, and centuries of imprisonment has driven the beast insane. If it escapes, it will burn the city to the ground. Yeah, probably Nest, not the best ally material. Uh. No, it's not. It's best to leave it be. I have a question, though, Mr. Person. I have an answer. Uh, why haven't you attacked until now? Why did you need to wait for someone like people like us to say like, yeah, we hate him and then you'll because help us? Because we are undead. If we attack, the city rises against us. Oh, but what changes if we are here with you? You are not here with me. You are going to go, you are going to convince, find others like us. You're going to convince them to rebel against Roland. Oh. And you will let them know. You will let the living know that the dead will stand alongside them. Ooh. Yeah, that's... Finally, we have something that can convince others to rise with us. We have yeah. strength. That is true. Tell them. When they ask which dead stands with you, tell them. That the three agonies will stand with them. The three agonies. I like it. I like it okay. A lot. Wait, but I think this means that. Hmm. What? Do we tell Kelby about this? If he goes straight to Kelby, I have a feeling we might make this thing. What's the word? Compromised? Why would that be? We, we tell Kelby, and Kelby has final. Because. Kelby will because find hope. Roland, no, because um, Roland's people think we're dead. No, and that's it. Because we're dead. We are, like, we have the advantage. As long as, as we are sneaky, you know, and not letting Roland's people find out about us first, then we'll have the up surprise, you know. We'll have the element of surprise. 
that's true. Yeah, we. I'm we... just worried that the moment we come in contact with Kelby, and then Kelby's with contact with those other people, and then those other people might have people that know Roland, and then Roland will find out about us, you know. But Kelby wouldn't contact anyone else. The undead thing monster says, "You will always have a safe place with me." So long as you continue to fight the prince. We okay. will. We have a very good reason to. So, where do we start? Yeah, by grabbing our stuff? <laughs> the undead yeah. thing reaches around and pulls a staff out from behind its throne. Ooh. And says, Roland has taken your things. Don't. They are likely distributed among his favorite guards right now. Uh, <laughs> looks at lo looks at um, Meepo's size like, I wonder who would use my stuff then. <laughs> he has halflings that serve him. Oh. Ah. The it's undead so taps the st the butt end of the staff on the ground, and uh, behind you, three coffins slide open. Ah. Okay. So, and the undead says, "Take the armor within. Take the weapons within." Okay, I will go Thank to one you. coffin and look for my size. Yeah. There is something of your size, Meepo. Ooh. Nice. Oh. I... Plate armor. Your favorite. <laughs> I I'll let Wait, Meepo I... do me? the stuff. Me? Yeah. I'm a dexterity fighter. I don't think I have enough strength to use plate armor. <laughs> okay, so not uh, for you. Uh, the, the plate armor for Sal, then, definitely. Okay. But for you... Let me pull up my player's handbook here so I can look at... Half fleet, I think, is the highest dex um, yeah. armor. Yeah, medium armor, I'm, I think. Medium armor. Yeah. Um, you may not be strong enough to use half plate, that's the thing. Oh, crap. Okay. Yeah, you, you I need mean, a... my strength is 12. Then you can... Yeah, that's not strong yeah, enough, you're I think. Not strong enough. Probably leather armor? I know! Med no, medium armor doesn't have any strength requirement. No, that's true. Um... What about studded leather? What's your dex modifier? Four plus four. Then, Actually, yeah, that leather, makes much yeah, more sense. Leather would make much more sense. And I'll be yes. stealthy. Yeah. Yes. Studded yep. leather for studded leather for Meepo. And All plate right. armor for the two for the two humanoids. Okay. Studded leather. Okay, I'm gonna delete all of my things in inventory. So. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Uh, I will. I will sadly just whispers. I'm so sorry, look Donna. <laughs> for leaving you in the hand of an evil person. I thought you left it in the swamp. No. Uh, I was always having it until, you know. I just never been able to use it properly. Because, you know, uh, Lugdana kind of... Well, I'm kind of shunned from Raven Queen. So, yeah. Mm. She doesn't respond to me anymore. Yep. Uh, sad. Right. Oh, I lost the champagne! Damn it! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sad. I have so many magic items, and I all I care about is the, the lousy champagne. <laughs> no, just kidding. All right. Uh, so what weapons do I find? What weapon do you want? Well. Hmm. I guess I could use a longsword. Or, sorry, or Warhammer, or Longsword, whatever. You get, uh, get your war. you get a Warhammer. Alright, cool. But uh, something you do notice, when you take the armor out, you're looking at it. Your armor is, uh, it, it has a, an undead motif, almost. Okay. The armor and your weapon, like, for example, the Warhammer that you have has, a. Uh, for instead of the usual flat head of a of a warhammer, it has a, a skull. skull embossed into it. That's so cool, so warhammer like. Yes. Yeah. Uh, like the 40k style. I love it. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Uh, now before we get crazy, mm -hmm. I do would like to point out that your weapons and your armor are magical. Oh, interesting! So, wow. Yeah. So our armor is plus one. I don't know. Is it just magical? Um, we need to attune to it, or just normal? You're magic? gonna need to attune to it. Yes. 
So let me actually find the items in here. Okay. I can use any weapon because I'm a fighter. Yeah. Yeah. Prefer well, you like Dex. Would you like Dex a rapier? Yeah. Probably a rapier. Yeah. Would be Wait, nice. no, I'm a cobalt. I don't think I can. Oh, short sword. Can... Short sword would be or scimitar would be your. Sword. Yeah, or scimitar yeah. would be the best for you. And then the shield, and then that's it for me. Yeah, me too. I need a shield. Um, okay. And then actually, a bow, you could use a rapier. So, as a, it's not a two-handed or heavy or anything like that. But it's not light. Okay. Right there. Okay. It's uh, hang on, it's versatile. It says so. No, rapier see. only has finesse. So. Yeah. Uh, hang on. No, it has to be light weapons are for dual wielding. Mm -hmm. oh, oh yeah, heavy doesn't means he doesn't need to dual wield. That's cool. Yeah, heavy okay. means that. Uh, yeah, heavy means that it can't be used by a small creature. That's awesome. Okay, so I have a rapier and a shield. Okay, mm. yep. noted. Alright. And then, is it okay if I have a short bow too? And 20 arrows, yes. Nice. Yeah! Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pick up some javelin, if there's any. Alright, five there. javelins. Nice. Five javelins for you. Thank you. Alright. Uh, the first thing about your armor, Ooh. it's uh, called the armor. All of your armor is called Graveborn armor. Ooh, so fancy. Ooh. Let's see. It's a uh, plus one to AC and resistance to necrotic. Nice. <laughs> plus one to AC. Oh yes. And resistance to necrotic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone gets a flight on. Nice. My AC is 20 naturally. Hold on. Wait a minute. Nice. Alright. No, I just realized that I gave uh, Drovnia a natural fist for a weapon because she's so big and strong. Hmm. <laughs> I just took a second look at her stats. Nice. Plate armor of spell resistance. Sorry, of necrotic yeah, resistance. And yeah, there is. Yeah, it also gives you a plus one bonus. Yes. That's so cool. So I have the weapons. Hmm. Yeah. So. And a shield. Yeah, the shield is not magical, unfortunately. It's fine. Yeah. But the uh, Graveborn's little armor. That's yeah. Cool. And the name is yeah. cool as well. That's really awesome. I imagine, like, all of us just became, like, yeah. level Death one, Knights. Like, MMR. Yeah. Like, now we're just edgy as hell with all of these yeah. new stuff. Actually, it's not like. Uh, It's it's not even it's not like actually any armor you've actually had. It's if you've seen 40k, you've seen like the space, the more detailed version of the Space Marine armor. Yes. Like yeah, it had, like some of them have like pictures of Imperial Saints on their armor, for example. It's kind of like that. Sweet. It's not even edgy. It's, it's gothic as hell, not edgy. <laughs> gothic <laughs> is not edgy. You're edgy. No, it's not. It's just <laughs> dark and detailed. And, we scream a lot. We think yeah. that we're so impressed, but we're not edgy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Okay, and all of your weapons. Actually, no. Um, not all of your weapons. Drovnia's weapon is a weapon of warning. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. That's really good. Um... <laughs> So I need to add uh, something there, special equipment. Yeah, it's just when her uh, weapon of warning goes off, it doesn't uh, just wake her, it just lets out this horrifying, it just bang, she just appears and lets out this earpiece, a piercing oh, shriek. That is amazing, but also horrible to use. <laughs> it's going to be so loud. Yeah, of course. It's meant to warn you, so... Yeah. She cannot... She has advantage on initiative rolls. 
cannot she and her companions cannot be surprised except when incapacitated by something other than non-magical sleep. Nice. Ooh. And if you are sleeping naturally, the weapon will scream and wake you up. Wake me up before you go go. <laughs> Just sings. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, for for Sal, mm -hmm. his weapon is actually a weapon of mind shielding. Ooh. Uh, that's okay. That's kind of weird, but that's cool. A yeah, a little. Uh, you think that whoever this undead is knows about your heard about your troubles with the mind flares? Nice. And you now have a weapon designed to counter it. <laughs> First thing it does is it, it uh, gives you it. You are immune to magic that allows creatures to read your thoughts, determine whether you are lying, know your alignment, or know your creature type. Creatures can only telepathically communicate with you only if you allow it. Sweet. You can also use an action to make the weapon become invisible. Until you use the another action to make invisible, drop the weapon, hit with an attack with that weapon, or die. Hmm. That is if you die while really cool. if you die while holding the weapon, your soul will enter into it, unless it already and the weapon that's, doesn't have a soul. That's a little bit edgy. <laughs> yeah, and you can remain in the weapon or depart for the afterlife whenever you want. Okay. As long as you're inside of the weapon, you can telepathically communicate with any creature using it. Yeah. And I became the, the sentient. Communication. I became yes. a sentient weapon. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. yeah. So, that's yours, Sal. All right, I'll write down the details. <laughs> that's pretty cool, though. It's basically a ring of uh, mind shielding. Yeah, I know. Except with, except the weapon becomes visible after you attack with it. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Now let's see here, Meepo. Do you have? You already have dark vision. Uh, Meepo, I'm going to give you a very unique one. I, uh, yeah, Justin, you can still hear me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Awesome, that's good. Um, your weapon, uh, your little rapier, okay, is called a ghost sword. Ghost sword? Nice. Okay. The properties, it basically just has the properties of an ever smoking bottle. Ooh. Instead of smoke, though, it's just harmless ghosts that come out. <laughs> that okay. Is oh, they can be dispersed by, uh, by a strong wind. Ever smoke. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. so it's like I have this smoky thing. <laughs> I have yeah. this. Yeah, basically, you can do it. You can use it as an action. So I can be like, Ooh, here are my ghosts! <laughs> yeah. And also, if you're very clever, you can use you can you can use it to gain advantage on intimidation chase to say, Here's my undead army! Flee from me! Nice. You will taste the power of my cheese! <laughs> <laughs> nice. I use a sword like in some undead army. Wow, talk about cheese! Undead cheese! The rotten cheese is back to kill you! Yeah, nice. no, that's not <laughs> harmful. They're creepy, but they're, they're harmless. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh. Just want to ask hmm? uh, Can I find a holy symbol? I. 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 Oh this is. This is tricky. Like, I'm still a paladin, but I don't believe in gods rather than, you know, I believe in the principles. 
So how would that work? Because when I, you know, I lost all of my stuff, including the symbol. Yeah. I just want to know how that works. Um. Well, first, let's start with the, you could get a holy symbol. That's not the question. The question is, what are you going to do? Because you are technically try, not believing in gods anymore. Yeah, that's the problem. I'll I'll still grab. I guess I don't know. There aren't there any you know. Th this is probably a path no one has ever taken. But aren't there any you know path that are like okay? I believe in the ideals. I believe in you know uh, I don't know justice. Uh, I believe in protection. Uh, that 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 would that was hard. You know what? I'll just grab believe, a random holy symbol, I guess. I believe in I believe in the ideals, but screw the gods. Am I right, everybody? No, 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 not. I don't want to cheat. I don't want to cheat that. I I want to. How should I put it? Is there any way to believe in some? Fuck. Oh, I I I think I read this somewhere. You want to believe in the ideals, but not the gods. Yes. Yes, there is a way to do that. That path is called heresy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, are those ideals divine or holy because the gods believe in them, or like, do, uh, okay, wait. No, it was it was like, like this. It was like it, you know you know what, guys? I think I, it was like this. Uh, there was uh kind of a was it warlock or someone. Uh, or some uh, class that believes in you know the uh, uh, was it Mount Celestia or something like like a plane, they they believe in the places that exist. They they believe in the the light, but they don't actually believe in deities. You're thinking of Eberron. Yeah. You're thinking of the path of light. Yeah, probably. That does not exist here, unfortunately. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Meanwhile, I was, I'm thinking about, uh, I'm thinking about, um, what's it, the Elder Evil supplement for 3.5e, mm. which included, actually, one of the Elder Evils in there included someone who, included the first heretic who discovered what you're discovering. Oh, no, <laughs> okay, wait, so I bad. think I found what I was talking about. I don't know, it's something that could be related, like, just what? remove bias with, like, ideals or something like yeah is is pious loved by the gods because it is pious or is it pious because it is loved by the god so that questions if the ideals are like by gods first or something but yes anyway good. well the thing about the gods is that they try to um, try to embody the ideals they champion that is true yeah obviously they don't get it all right 100 percent of the time yeah mm-hmm so if you can just think about it, gods are just greater champions. They're not necessarily the ones who make yeah. it exist. If that makes sense. I know. Yeah. I, I would... So yeah, what ideal do you want to embody? That will determine the holy symbol you get. I want to embody the light. I want to be like I said. I want. I really want to be a beacon. Or Cell really wants to be a beacon for other people. Beacon of hope. Then that would be a Morning Lord holy symbol. All right. I'll take it. Yeah, Dora May got her holy symbol back. Yeah, I mean it's not like the same one that she had, but it's a holy symbol. Yeah, yeah. The 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 warlock picture on the undying light it was similar to that. Uh, uh, yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's uh, um, Arnold's Arcana though. Yeah, I know. I, I'm not, and it's it's not a paladin, so I'm just saying mm. like so wanted. To, yeah, but yeah, anyway, paladins are by their nature they are gods. They need gods. I just cut out, or did I just break your brain? No, no, no. I, I know. I, I, uh, well, no. I, I know a lot of homebrew stuff, but they are homebrew, so it doesn't really works. I'm not. I'm not gonna do anything rash. Just, right. Yeah. I'll grab the Morning Lord symbol, but I would say conquest seems like a like a weird path at this point. Yeah, you can change your path if you like. What do you want to change it to at this point? It's just kind of like rebirth, as yeah. it were. 
That's what I want to call this. But I don't, I don't, I don't think I've hit the, the moment, you know, like I haven't done anything, you know, to really getting your ass beaten in by rolling in his boys did not change anything. No, it did. It it did. It just I Cell uh, Cell as a character hasn't done anything to prove uh, his position. You know, he he hasn't really done anything to. I I, I want to shift. Like I, I can totally switch to redemption or anything right now. But I just feels <laughs> like as a story wise, he hasn't. He hasn't. Like man, his turning determined. point yet? Yes, he hasn't fully committed to the bits. Yes, yeah, he, so he is just still like in he's going there. Yeah, he's going there, but he he knows it's heres it's heresy, and it's it's weird because no one he ever known ever took that path. So, all right, well, you know what? Let's find out. Well, you know what? He can always go to the. He knows the. He knows uh, where the Ravens' Irie is. He can go there and he can talk to them. Yeah. But that will be for later. We are picking up yeah. our stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, you got your stuff. You picked up, picked it up, and you've attuned to it. Yeah. All right. So, uh, so heavily, just he he kind of uh, with the holy symbol, he did it differently. Like before, he was doing like everybody else. He hanged it by the around his neck, just you know, outside of his like uh, armor, and just hanging there. But now he just wraps the holy symbol around his, well, bracer, like you know, the gauntlets around them, just kind of hidden. Yeah. Not really exposing them. Yeah. And you'd be like, okay, let's let's go on our path. Let's go. Yeah. What's the way out? I, I look at the three agonies. The figure says. You will find a way. All right. I uh, really appreciate your help. We are grateful that you appreciate our help. We'll be back. We'll definitely be back. You will be. Either in armor and yeah. telling me you are ready to attack the city. Or again, yeah. naked as you were. One way or another, <laughs> we will be. Yeah, one way or another. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, when all is said and done, everyone comes here. That's all true. All things die. Mm. That is true. All right, let's go. Uh, I walk uh, towards the path I was given. All right, you've climbed back up. You, after several more minutes of walking. Wandering around the muzzle, um, you climb out, you enter the graveyard, and you walk purposefully towards the wall. And as you do, you notice that the undead are lining, including the caretaker, are lining your path leading to the wall, and they're all bowing as you go by. Mm -hmm. And when you reach the wall, you see there's an iron wrought gate there that you swear wasn't there before. Damn. Wait, I'm getting some real Dark Souls Lord of the <laughs> Lord of the Undead type feel from this. Hold on. Come on, man. I just I was just playing Darkest Dungeon. Just don't do this to me. <laughs> I said Dark Souls. I mean, like, uh, damn. Okay. Yeah. yeah Fucking, exactly. I respect it. Don't worry. <laughs> I know, but yeah, don't do this right. to me. <laughs> where are you gonna go though? Cause you don't know where Kelby is right now. Well, we do know where he was, right? Yeah. He was yeah, in the right. where he was. Quarter. We just and go there. there. The quarter, though. We just go there. All right. Yeah, I mean, carefully. Really carefully. Yeah, carefully. In yeah, hoods and cloth. Yes. Wait, we should see. I mean, look at the. We should look at the caretaker. Uh, I'm like, hey. So yeah, we're not undead. We're totally alive. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the caretaker just nods. But thanks for the help, though. I, you know, like, you were just looking out for us, so... Thanks! He just nods and says, don't worry. You'll be back eventually. Yeah, everyone's... 
We know. We'll we all back. die. We're we mortals. Know. So, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. We're going. All right. So, you're going to head to the Dutch Quarter then? Mm hmm. Definitely. Yep. All righty. Walking, walking, walking. Walking really fast. Speed walking. Yeah. Yeah, you do pass the Ebony Guard. There's these Raven Queen soldiers in black armor. You yeah, can't kind of see me. Askance. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I'm, a couple of, well, okay, go ahead. Uh, so I just said, uh, their leader mm -hmm. uh, uses divine sense, realizes you're not, and then just chases it. Says, great, wa great Robin weirdos. You can't <laughs> see me. I, I do a John Cena hand <laughs> in my face. Yeah. Yeah. You can't see I me. Can't see us. You can't see me, but I see you. You can't yeah. see me. <laughs> but yeah, they just like those like weirdos. And, like, yeah, I'm goofing around. around. It worked. Let's go. <laughs> I, I yeah. yeah. Let's go. <laughs> let's All go. right. <laughs> Moving through the Plaza District, you enter the Dust Quarter. Mm -hmm. You can tell because everything's starting to get dusty. Even your armor is starting to get dusty. It's already dusty. It was taken yeah. from a grave. Well, more so. It's to be dusty. Yeah. More so. <laughs> Uh, Dorian says, well, I have no clue where to look. Where do you want to start? Well, the Dust District. We, we have been here, right? We yeah, have. have been, yes. Yeah, so we start from where we be we've been before. All right. And yeah, just yeah. just check from there. All right, you start with the Warrior's Rest, or the Warrior's Rest Inn, but uh, that place has been, the, it's it's closed down. The whole thing is starting to fall apart as the city slowly dismantles it. Shit. Uh, what else? Where? The the warehouse? Yeah, go back to the warehouse in the yeah, drive corner. We'll, we'll, we'll try. At least. Alright, you go there. Your warehouse is gone. It's just an empty lot. Shit. Okay, okay, okay. Drone is like, well, how long have we been out? That's a good question. I have no clue. You know what? I'll just go, uh, just see, uh, you know, like some stranger on the street and just, just, uh, carefully, just, you know, like politely stop them without revealing my face or anything. I'm just like, yeah. Hey there. Uh, hi. How yeah, long has it? Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, the person is, the person is just some random schmuck, some random sailor mm -hmm. with, like the thousand yard stare just looks at you blankly. Yeah. Uh, hi, sorry to interrupt. Uh, do you know how long it's been since the last, you know, uh, s siege of the undead? Sorry, I'm a little bit fuzzy. He just, I was just, looks at you. He just says, Time has no meaning in Gloomrot. That is true, but we do count time of day to, you know, collect bounties or stuff like that so if you tell me i'll be time really appreciate it has no meaning in gloomrod stranger time yeah. runs differently depending on how miserable you are the more miserable you are the slower time runs for you yeah well um the ones who have given into their misery have completely stopped aging uh Ooh. i just wanted to ask we were just asking because like you know the warrior stress was kind of like our our you know, place to be. So, like, we're just trying yeah. to look for another tavern. You know, like, you know, any There's other place. of taverns. You have your pick. And he just turns and keeps walking on. Yeah. You're rude. This non-cooperative style is really getting to me. But ah, uh, fuck. Anyway. Well, maybe we can like go over there and then see like how like maybe we can determine you know what? how. You know what? Let's go to the house. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, I'm looking for my notes. Sorry, it's been a while. Uh, the warehouse? No, no, no. Uh, You're at the warehouse. No, 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 not the warehouse. Uh, shit. I suddenly forgot the name. Uh, Genia, Genia's, yeah, you know, uh, noble house. Oh, that place. Yeah, we we go there and ask, tell her we're not dead, and ask her to go search for us. Go to Karad Keep. Yes, Karad. Yes, that's yeah. the name. Okay, Sorry. Okay. Sorry, one yeah. death can do a lot to your I, mind. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, you go there. Yeah. Karad Keep is a massive, massive uh, stone fortress. Mm -hmm. It's uh, 
it's uh, I'd say it's stone. It's, it's basically building materials, but they cover the stone in iron. Mm-hmm. And there's these, there's a large group of guard of guards in black armor standing in front, sullenly watching everyone go by. As you approach, the guards immediately lock their shields and point their spears at you. Oh, hello. We are acquaintances of Miss Jenya. And uh, we were... Everyone is an acquaintance of the Karad family when they come here. What yes. makes you so special? Uh, because we helped her with some secret work. Which is... Everyone helps them. Everyone has some secret that they can only discuss with a member of the family. Uh, I look towards the... I look towards Sal and... Like, I get the feeling you know that the... Jordan is just gonna say, I get the feeling that people, unscrupulous people, have tried these things before. Yeah, yeah I don't same. think it's gonna work. I've done this before, like, as a criminal, it doesn't really work. Yeah. I look at the guards and just says, Then, if she if she's too busy to see us, can you at least pass her a message? The... The guard, the guard captain just gives a laugh. He's like, "What are you nuts? We're not allowed inside of that place. And even if we were, we wouldn't know the full layout. We have no clue what's beyond the front door." Ah. Uh, then what are you guarding? Well, hmm. We're guarding the front door. Okay. That's true. It's kind of weird, though. But anyway. It's a security measure. It means that even if you were to capture us, you'd get nothing out of us. I just look towards Sal in the room and I'm like, and I'm just like, mm, about that place with the ladies, and we can find the Earth Genasi guy. Ah, that's true. We can oh, go there. That's right. Okay. I don't want to go back. <laughs> we, can, we can leave him alone for some time now. All right, let's leave our grouchy friends here to their yeah. duty, and uh, you know, let's let's go uh, somewhere else because I don't want to go back to the place with all the ladies. Hey, well... That place creeps me out. I know you're disgusted. Okay, uh, well, how I about... I feel like they are going to be... I feel like they want to kidnap me and they put me in that trade. I don't want to do that. Uh, well, I don't want to make the Rovnia uncomf uncomfortable. So, like, yeah. where else can we go now? We can't go to Jan uh, Janya can... or... Mm. Yeah, we can go to... We can always go to the Raven's Eyrie. What's that? What... It's the big search for the Raven Queen. Yeah, but we What's were there. What's the point there. of going there? We were there. Maybe we could ask priests to cast divination for us in return for favors. Yeah, the thing is... Uh, I, I want to find the Earth Genasi first. Yeah, like, I, 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 I'm... Oh, we can, like, we've owed we can a find lot Earth of favors. Genasi first. We can find the Earth Genasi first. I'm just going to uh, stay away from the outside of the Definitely, building. definitely. Like, you'll be safe. Sure. We'll yeah. handle it. Yeah, we we can we can go to the nearest district and then you 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 know stay outside and me, me and Meepo just go in and you know find the dude. Yeah. How about that? All right. Go to the fettered ward then. Yep. We are walking to the you walk walk to the chain lined red light avenues. So you come to the place that. Uh, that Kelby told you he found, he found Kismod. Mm -hmm. uh, you enter in, it's a very sumptuous, very overly luxurious. Um, a woman manning the front desk who is wearing surprisingly, who is wearing way too few clothes, looks up at you and she says, uh, Do you have an appointment? Uh, we have with uh, an Earth Genasi named Kismod. Yeah. Wait, are you you know Kismod? Yes. You know him? Yeah. We are a friend. He's our friend. Yeah. Please get him out of here. He's not the he hasn't left in days. Okay. Yeah, we'll get him out. We'll, we'll get definitely him out. get him out of your hand. Okay, please thank you. Yeah, no. Thank problem. you. He's eating all our food. <laughs> where where is I, mean, he? I know we can pay for it, but he's eating all of our food. We don't have enough for the girls. <laughs> okay. Where where is he? He's upstairs. Okay. He's in the big room. Okay. Don't worry. I'll grab him. And I go upstairs. Try to find the dude. Yeah. Do you go upstairs? You find the big room. And uh, you, when you go up there, you immediately just shut it again. You're like, okay, yeah. Let's give him a few minutes. 
Uh, no, I will actually not give him a few minutes. I'll actually walk <laughs> in, ignore what yeah. I just saw, and make it. Yeah, ignore make the it, fact make it that seem. he's. Yeah. the fact that he's looting them. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. I will yeah. just gently pat him on the shoulder and just say. He's like, he looks over his shoulder, like, ah, ah, Kelby. No, oh, you're not Kelby yourself. Have you come, do come to sample the delights of this place? Your no, student no, no. has. We been need missing. your help. I'm sorry, what about my student? What about Kelby? He's been missing. We were. What? We he's were defeated. He almost, oh, yeah, he's almost Goku. He I immediately think he just again. throws the girl aside, <laughs> tosses a bag of gold on top of her, and, looks, and pulls his pants on. He's like, tell me everything. Let's go outside. This is not a good yeah. place to talk. We need, we need, we need a All more right. private place. Um, I All look right. at the that ladies awesome. and just like, please let them, you know, keep quiet about this. I don't want, I don't want him. To please, like, what, what, what's going on? Kizma just turns and says, he just says, don't worry, my dears, I'll be back. And meanwhile, here, have some more gold for your troubles. And he just drops a couple more sacks in front of them. And then just, as the girls start fighting over it, he follows you yeah. out. All right, that's one way to solve it. I walk out. Yes. <laughs> that's on. one way to solve it. Yeah. yeah. He said, well, it's a good thing I'm rich. But yeah. He pulls on the rest of his clothes as he goes out. And as you leave, you come out, you see Dorothea standing, <laughs> just panting, holding her maul. <laughs> and on the ground are these two unconscious, um, these are two unconscious men who reek strongly of alcohol. All right. Are you okay? I am quite fine. All right. Thank you. Uh, I cannot say the same for these people, but uh, yeah, they they, they had it coming. I, they had it. Yeah, coming. they had it coming. Yeah. This much those yeah. I am certain you are all hungry. Come, I will take you to restaurants. Uh, we have more urgent matters to talk about, and I don't think restaurant is safe to talk. And uh, let's find a quiet place. Well, let us eat first, and then we talk. <sighs> Fine. Yeah. There's cheese? always time for a good meal. And he leans in close to you and says, especially for a meal with cheese in it. We have to go! Sal! Fuck. Alright, alright. Let's go. I lost all of my supply of cheese ever since we... I lost everything when... as well, Meepo. I know the feeling. Yeah. Let's go! Cheese, Let's go. cheese, cheese. Mozzarella, American, <laughs> cheddar, uh, blue cheese, goats. No, it can't be American. Uh, Elvin, uh, <laughs> Elvin cheese. Oh, Elvin cheese are really nice. This actually works out quite well. All right, so yeah, he takes you to Kismas going to take you to a restaurant, a very fancy restaurant. Gets a private booth in there. Thank God. Gets, uh, as you know, he's that fantastically rich. Mm -hmm. Gets the best meals. There's the meals, best meals that you want. And then this wait lets you guys dig in, and then once you've had your fill, he says, "All right, so what happened with Kelby?" Well, we were defeated when we were trying to investigate and... You went to the Deathless Palace? What happened? You went to the Deathless Palace? Don't yep. tell me you did that. We Why? Did. That place is a yeah, death trap. That place is a death trap. We have a very good reason. Why? What is going on? What happened? Well, Cal's girlfriend, Agnes, turned out to be, you know, uh, a, 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 f for lack of a better term, fountain of youth. To be drained for Roland. And you thought Roland was just going to hand it over to No, you. we were not. We actually had a plan. We were trying to investigate uh, inside until Roland caught us, which no doubt he has the power to know. Yeah. It's stupid. Like I said, I know. Don't. I already, don't I already told, the, told that to... Promise me you will not go there again without the proper help, alright? I know, that that's what I said to Kelby as well, but he's hell-bent on going there. I know. He sighs, thinks for a moment, he says, Do you know how he is doing right now? Do you know where he is? The last we last saw of him... Heard. 
Yeah. Last time we've heard, he's gone a bit crazy, a bit cuckoo from uh, Miss Terry. Oh, uh, that's well, that's what we heard. I only saw yeah. him running away from you know the guards yes. that were chasing but, him. All right. But I'm very worried because you know how Kelby is, and now he thinks all of us are dead, but we're not dead. So if he thinks we're dead, then he must feel really, really bad. Then we're going to have to find him quickly, then, aren't we? Do you know mm -hmm. where he might be? We we searched the dust district, but all the you know familiar places where we're in are all yes. Destroyed. Roland will probably do, no, Roland. He probably tore down everything you know and love. Yeah. Just out of spite. Luckily, I don't love uh, our house. The warehouse is gone. Yeah. Luckily, I don't love that place. <laughs> yeah. If you are finished eating, I will see if I can find him. I will ask the city. Oh, you okay. can do that. Interesting. The city. She tells me all her secrets. Is that a Earth Genasi thing? I am not a Genasi. I am a Dao. Ah. Wow. I'll just call you Earth person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I will call you Little Lizard Man. How does that sound? That sounds great! <laughs> Very well, Little Lizard Man. Follow me. If you are done eating, follow me. We are. It's better than slave. Yeah, mm. we are going. That is true. We are going. Wow. Yeah, he leaves you outside. He just kneels down, just puts his hand on the streets, and closes his eyes and concentrates. And as he does, the street just ripples outward from his hand. Uh, a, mil a couple moments pass, and then he opens his eyes. He says, "He has been taken to the Raven's Eyrie. Apparently, he met your he met your friend Jania Karad, and she recognized him in spite of his disguise. She realized that he needed help, and she's taken him for treatment from the priests and priestesses of the Eyrie. Ooh, that's really cool. Wow. Well, okay, okay then. Let's." Let's we were supposed there. to go there anyway. Let's go. Yeah. <sighs> yeah it's just, well, I can't think of any reason why not. And besides, there may be beautiful women there. Please. Those women get so lonely. Please don't do duties. it in front of Miss Jenya. Or, yeah. They're of yeah. course not. I have, I have my dignity, of course. Yes, please. Please keep that. Thank you. <laughs> and then and then you see you kind of like oh not Kelby, sorry Meepo kind of get on the shoulder of like a uh, of um Kismod. sorry Kismod. yeah Kismod. it's yeah. like uh Mr Kismod, you know I I wanna you know I like a girl but like I don't know how to you know talk to her uh, how to romance her uh, yes I see never yeah. I would be more than willing to teach you. <laughs> Okay. I need I need help with that. Will, will you be willing to teach me then? Of course, of course. Teach me, Senpai! Kelby. Teach me! <laughs> first, we must check on Kelby. Okay, let's go. Yeah. I, I will walk <laughs> with Doronia, leaving room yeah. for Meepo and Kizma to talk. Well, yeah. 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 So, unless you want to have a private conversation with her. N not really. I know she's probably in a bad mood. If no, she's should... more worried about Kelby yeah. at this point. Okay. Uh, Alright, let's just go, I guess. We yeah. don't have much time. Right, to... well, you, yeah. Yep, you make it to the, uh, make it to the Raven's Eyrie. Kizma, first thing he does, he grabs the road at you, and you sound, touched you both under his arms, and then he just flies up. Oh, wow. I didn't As opposed know. to taking the stairs. I didn't know you can do that. <laughs> yeah, he says, I am full of a lot of surprises. Indeed. Uh, huh. So, uh, what do we see? Actually? When you reach the top, you see it's... Uh, first thing you see at the top is it's big and flat, like the, the area around the cathedral. It's flat, it's big, it's also slick with ice and it's black. And you see, like, like sitting on the very edge, cross-legged, are, like, these monks just, or these ascetics just sitting there, just staring, meditating, staring out into the distance of the Shadowfell. Mm -hmm. Several of them 
have these large candles that are on top of them that are burning and slowly dripping wax down their forms. Wow. Ooh. Yeah. Like gargoyle? No, they're not gargoyles. These are living creatures. You see them breathe. They occasionally shift. They occasionally shift in their stance. Okay. It's kind of interesting. One of them appears to have fallen asleep on the spot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, All but right. uh, yeah, the cathedral now that you're facing it is a lot bigger than it looked from at the bottom. All right. How far yeah. away are we from, you know, the... The cathedral, you're roughly yeah. about 500 feet away. Okay, that's big. that's okay. That's quite, quite far. It's a big area. All right, yeah. let's go. Yeah, as you go, a group of uh, black-armored soldiers... From the from the ebony guard come out and with their weapons drawn they just hold up their hands and they say hold it hold it hold it hold it everyone stop stop hold it that's my catchphrase copyright trademark me hold it <laughs> okay um... you big guy why did you fly them up here what are you, who are you and what do you want and uh kizma just he leans in and says I brought these, you know, these small folk here to see their friend. We do not have time for your queer little beliefs about climbing the staircase. They, their friend is in here, and they need to see him. Yeah, what he said. Uh, By the way, and, he uh, is Why didn't you take the elevator, then? Yeah. Why didn't you take the elevator, then? It's a lot easier. Wait, there's an elevator? Wait, yeah, what is an elevator? It's a big platform attached to pulley and wheels. So we pull you up and down. You know, it's, it's wow, on the other side. that's really cool. Yeah, it's a, you saw what an elevator is. You, no, you I wasn't in there. When you were fight, no, I wasn't when you were in there. the giants. Uh oh, right in wait inside yeah. his body. Oh no, well, when we were out going to fight the yeah, elevator. Yeah, we were on the wall, and you took the elevator down to the tunnels, and then went out to the swamp. But they never explained it's an elevator, right? Yeah, he did. He yeah. said there was an elevator. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Fair point. So, yeah. Wow, that's that's yeah, like the advancement of technology. Yeah. Yeah, technology is really good. So, why didn't you do that? I just wants to. We well, didn't know. Fair, we don't know you have an elevator. Yes. We have no uh, clue. Yeah, we gotta really do that. Gotta really work on that. Anyway, anyway, um, yeah, big guy, you're gonna stay with here. Your friends are gonna go in under guard. Okay. Okay. All but right, he's the, right. he's also our friend's mentor, so he also deserves to go in. Yeah, and I'm the Tooth Fairy, all right? He flew up here. He's going to stay until the priestesses clear him. Okay. Okay. Fine. Sure. All right, let's go. Yeah, all let's right. go. All right, so you leave Kismata. As you guys go, um, you see that the grounds... Of the, the grounds of the cathedral are patrolled by the ebony guard, and the entrance is guarded by a do, by two dozen of them, twelve on each side, on each side of the main entrance. Uh, you'd expect for like the holiest site for the Raven Queen's religion that this is going to have a constant stream of petitioners and pilgrims going in and out, but it's quite abandoned. Hmm. You guess that not many people really have this. Not many of them really have the stamina to make it up and down the staircase. Yeah. <laughs> oh, large God. staircase. Yeah, the large staircase made of ice yep. that will freeze you to death the minute you step on it. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it will. It, it, it's very cold as you get, as you, it's like you're wearing nothing at all. It's like you're stepping on ice with your bare feet when you step on that. It's, it's meant to challenge your endurance. And yeah. if you can't make it up, it's supposed to, like, show you the isolation of the Raven Queen. Yeah, I think they actually talked about that before when we asked in the temple. Huh. I'm sorry. Uh, we we were at the temple once. We were they yeah, were asking once. questions. Yeah, they they were saying you know the pilgrimage and the trial. I think they yeah. mentioned about this. Yeah. Yeah. And then just sh and you just short circuited the entire thing. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> the way we do it. Yeah. 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 As you approach the ebony guard, isn't gonna stop you. They're just gonna look. They're just gonna look at you curiously as you walk in. Passing through. Nothing to see here. We're all cool. Yeah. That's what Zell says when he gets in. All right. 
Um, yeah, inside there, are, uh, there's are some mendicants going about the religious duties, but otherwise it's empty. The cathedral can easily hold thousands, but it's uh, it's empty. It's almost entirely empty. Okay. The right. front end of the stat of this of the cathedral's main of the main sanctuary is just dominated by this enormous statue of the Raven Queen. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, I look around. Do I see Jania? You do not. But you also see a bunch of other places leading off to the side. Is there anyone leading us? No, there's no one leading you. That is interesting. As, basically, as long as you don't destroy anything, as long as you're not here to destroy things, they just leave you alone. Okay. Huh, should have asked where they are. Sure. You know what? I need to pull up some religious music. Where is this? Not. Let's see here. There we go. Um, but no, you can ask one of the people who's doing their duties if you like. All right, I'll do that. Uh, nothing stopping you. Yep. Yeah. So you grab this one monk, and he's just looks. He's like, "Yeah, can you make this fast?" Uh, I just want to know. Do you know where Miss Jenia is? And he thinks for says Jenia Karad. Yes. Yeah, she brought someone in here. They're in the intensive care unit. No one's currently being allowed in. She had to leave. She left 10 minutes ago. Shit. Do you know where she went? Probably back home. They said that they'll call her back when she when her friend has been treated. All right. Can we at least sit, sit outside? Because that's also our friend as well. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, down that hall. Eight okay. points. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. I appreciate it. All right. That. All right. Uh, I'll walk towards the hallway. All right. You go down the hall, and then you you see it. Uh, you walk down the hall. There's a couple of other doors leading to empty infirmaries. And at the far end is a door that's labeled intensive care. Mm-hmm. And there's a couple members of the Ebony Guard outside. So they just hold up their hands. And they say, no, just right there, boys. That's far enough. All right. That's our friend inside there. So, if you don't we mind... We have a lot of people inside. We yeah. have a lot of people inside, but like I said, some of them have very delicate mental conditions. Can we at mm, least yeah, just I think... sit outside? Yeah, there's like... benches right over there. Okay. And yeah, there are some benches there. When can we, like, talk to the person in charge of our friend? Because I don't know if they're treating him. We don't know if they're treating your friend right now. All you have to do is just be patient. Okay. I okay. guess we're sitting here for a while. Yeah. You know what, uh, Meepo? You, you can sit here. Uh, I will go let Kismon know that we are here. Sure. I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll keep watch. Okay, thank you. Alright, Androne is going to stay with him. Yeah. Figures. <laughs> yeah. Yep, alright. She wants so, nothing to do with the man. The Dao, whatever. Yeah. With the Dao, yeah. Especially since he tried hitting on her a couple yeah. of times. Hard. <laughs> yeah. So you go out uh, right, right, right as you enter the sanctuary, Kismar enters. He says, Oh, there you are. I've been cleared to enter. Yes. Uh, he's in intense care ward, and I, we're not allowed to go in, you know, to prevent us from no. further triggering his condition. That makes sense. Yeah. The mental health is a very, de- is a very delicate thing. That's why we, we we are allowed to stay outside, though. Just, you know, wait. All right, yeah. I would go wait. We would go wait for them there. Thanks. Uh, as you turn to go back into the intensive care unit, um, a woman walks up to Sal and says, Hey, are you Salvatore Starvex? Who's asking? Hi. Uh, yeah, the Pontifex would like a word with you. The what? Oh, shit! Oh, the, the shit! The she wants to speak with you. Not what? like kill you. This is not like a euphemism for like throw you off the edge of the, throw you off the edge or kill you or anything. It's just, it's just a talk. I know. Not an interrogation. It's, it's just a talk. Okay. You got this, Sal. Okay. 
Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I I saved some cheese from my rest from the restaurant here. You can you can eat some. Yeah. Thanks. I would like a piece later. All right. <laughs> I I walk with the lady. Yeah, the lady is gonna lead you away from your friends alone. Down, right through the main sanctuary again, down another series, down another couple of halls. Until you stop outside of a plain and unassuming door. Um, there's a, but there is, but outside of this unassuming door, there are a bunch. There's like at least thirty guards. Oh wow! That's yeah, they meet. It is a. It's a. All right. She, the woman who led you says, "You're going to have to. We're going to have to search you for weapons first. Okay. I mean, obviously, we take her safety very seriously. Uh, can I at least keep my armor up? I, it'll, yes, it'll yes, take of course, of course. But we're, yeah, of course. But we're going to have to confiscate the warhammer. Sure. It'll be given back to you. It'll be given back when you're done. Sure. Uh, I, I leave my warhammer, and my javelin outside. And... All right. Yeah, they, that they search you to make sure you don't have anything. You don't hide anything. Mm -hmm. Nope. They use magic to make sure you're not magically concealing anything. Yeah, I'm poor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm poor. I and then I don't even have any gold. So. Yeah, and then when uh, you're and when they're certain that you're safe to be let in, safe to let in, they open the door and they walk you inside. All right. Inside is uh, actually quite. Uh, it reminds you of the chapel you had back home. To be honest. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. It's very small. There are there, there is uh, another like twenty guards, ten lining the wall, ten lining each wall. How do they fit in so many people? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, kneeling in front. Yeah, kneeling in front of the altar is a woman. Where is uh, is a Shadokai woman, just wearing a simple simple nun's outfits, mm -hmm. and uh, she says. If you think this is impressive, you should see the Zealot Barracks. Uh, no, it just kind of reminds me of home. That's all. Yeah. It was not my intention to remind you of home, but I'm glad it does. I'm glad we're of the same mind. There's nothing wrong with the impressive sanctuary that we have, but it just feels so impersonal sometimes. Yeah. Uh, it kind to, to tell the truth, it kind of intimidates me a little bit. Uh, when I first came, because it's so yeah. huge, it's it's nothing like I've ever seen before. Of course it is. It's it's a helpful reminder that the gods are far above us. They are. That what, they? like so far that we that their way of thinking is completely alien to us. But at the same time, the smaller things remind us that they do care. In their own unique way. <laughs> yeah. uh oh, hang on. The the bot left. Oh, the bot. No. Damn you, crew. Yeah, I accidentally clicked on general as well. <laughs> no, like it left. Yeah, I know. No, no I, I was just saying I I accidentally click on the other channel. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. There we go. Uh, nice. There we go. All right. Um, so yeah, the the Pontifex just says, yeah, it, uh, they do care. How far and distant they seem, they do care. The problem is they're not omniscient. They're not omnipotent. They're not omnipresent. Mm, true. They can't really focus on all of us at once, unfortunately. <sighs> but listen to me, rambling. That's not why I called you in here for. She stands up and shows the face. You see that she's wearing a silver, she's wearing a silver mask over her face. You also see in her hand she's holding Ludana. Uh, I I rub says, my eyes to see if I'm seeing this, and I say, "Wait, is that?" She says, "The the prince's men brought this here. They said that you had stolen this." No. Just... I didn't think he did, but again, I'm not willing. But I'm not willing to press the issue where the prince is concerned. But I would like to hear your side of the story. Ludana has told me a great many interesting stories, 
I do them about you. And I'd like to hear your side of the tale. Well, if you're expecting an epic, you know, uh, his like story. I do not. Nope. <laughs> yeah. I do not. Yeah. I find most people don't have epic stories. Even my story isn't that epic, despite the power I wield. Yeah. But mine is just boring. Like, uh, like uh, all I ever did was to help my friends. And look. And all I've ever I done was from the Raven Queen. Yeah. And look where it got me. And she points to her face. Did you mean the the silver mask? No, I mean what it conceals. Uh. Okay. Uh, you you don't want you don't you don't have to show me if you don't feel comfortable. I'd rather not. Yeah, yeah, Most that's people don't like seeing what's underneath. No, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like, if you don't want to show it, just you don't have to. No, let's. let's I'm not see. going to. Yeah. But uh, suffice it to say, that was probably the most exciting moment of my life. And, and I've been around for time. over 300 years at this point. That's... Mi uh, sorry, uh, I'm not really good with, you know, I I'm just half... Shit. I'm, I'm not fully an elf. That's fine. Yeah. Like, Sal that's talks about this like kind me. of a meek, kind of a... Yeah, she just says, yeah. that's fine, it's... Not particularly the concern to me, but like I said, I do wish to hear your story. Okay. Uh, so, uh, we we got into Gloomrot. That's for one. Never thought I would. He looks around and just enter a place like this. Uh, mm. We travel, and he just keeps on talking about his journey with Kelby. And yeah. you know the the gang and how he actually got here, how he met up with, you know, uh, Lakewood family, yeah. how he met up with Jenya and all his first his first trip to Glenrock, which yeah. did not end happily. Yeah, the whole story. Yeah, it took a lot she, of time. Though. Yeah, yeah, so fine. That's fine. The Pontifex, she just mm. keeps her silence, listens, occasionally nods, and when you finish. She says, that sounded pretty exciting to me. Really? I, I just... just very mildly. <laughs> just, yeah, that, that sounded exciting. Uh, because I kind of feel as, uh, feels like I just, I just got chased around. Like, like, like a dog chasing its tail. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? You just cut out there. Oh, sorry. Uh, I, I, Sal just says... Uh, can you hear me now? Uh, yeah, I can hear you. It's, okay. it's on my end. Okay. It's not yours. Okay. Me. Sal, Sal just says, uh, I, I feel like... I, I don't feel like it's a, it's a that much of a great story. I feel like, a, for lack of a better term, a dog chasing its tail. Like, uh, I just got bumped around, just, you know, facing... Enemies I've never thought I would face. Yeah. Yeah. She nods. The Pontifex nods. She says, "If that's the comparison to you that you want to use, do you feel that, like a dog chasing your own tail, you would know what to do if you caught your tail?" That—that's the thing, right? I don't know. Yeah, that's a lot of things. People. I've seen that's what a lot of people have seen coming in here. They have a goal, they chase it. While they get the goal, they don't know what to do. Just like a dog doesn't know what to do when it's caught its own tail. Mm. Aside from maybe yelp because it bit a little too hard. Yeah. And that's usually the case. The thing is, I don't. I don't think <sighs> the the whole journey. It just feels like. I don't know. I, I don't have a clear goal. Some people like like people do have a clear goal. Like dogs, they would they would actually want to catch the tail. That's their goal. But mine was was never mine own. I I just want to help friends, but 
You want to help people? Yeah. Let's look, look what it got me. She says, she thinks for a moment, she says, has it ever occurred to you that the people that, when you kind of, that you've been going about it the wrong way, for lack of a better term? Mm-hmm. Is that maybe instead of helping, it may, it's, you just seem to be going at this scatter shot. You don't really seem to have a goal. It's just this very nebulous thing. It's very general goal, helping people. Yeah. If you had like a more specific goal, such as help the people of Gloomrot, it probably would help give you focus, wouldn't it? The thing is, I don't think Gloomrot's people wanted to be helped. That's the biggest problem I've I've came here. Like I, I came from a really small town. People there they always wanted to help each other. And, yeah. and that's how we united as a group we, because we wanted to help each other from to keep ourselves from danger his yeah. voice lowered when he said danger and then he just yeah. he just continues and just says but here people they lost their hope she uh, puts the sword down behind her and says yes the city takes hope takes yeah, all your emotions and he uses it to make itself stronger, bigger, stronger, better. But that's the problem. Like, how could you fight a tyrant without, you know, hope? Without the hope that you could actually topple him. You, the, the, the cell it's just a, suddenly just, ones. like, cell suddenly clutches his face and is like, oh shit, did I... Because she I... Just, she's, she walks up to she just pats you, puts her hand on your shoulder and says, We are not fans of the prince either. <sighs> he has God. lived for 300 years, sustaining his life unnaturally. He is, his moment of death should have been long ago. Oh, thank God. He is an abomination in our queen's eyes. But, but we, as yet, do not have the power to topple him. What? <sighs> just, I'm so confused. So I'll just like continue saying, but you have so many people. Like, like the like. I'm not talking about Gloomrot people. I'm talking about the temple. The temple has so many guards. The so many. The church is massive, yes, but it's scattered. But can you? If we were to assemble such might here without giving Roland any kind of notice, he would likely turn against us. He would spread lies about how we intended to establish a theocracy about how we are going to do this and that but all the people hated him how would they ever believe him because this is a case of the devil you know rather than the angel you don't but you guys you understand? That, that's the tricky part yes I understand you the, understand so I understand the sentiment but this is the tricky part you've been spreading Raven Queen's belief in here for quite a long time, right? Yes. Yes. Then why are you the angel they don't know? What have you? Sorry, I don't want to because be because it's 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 just because people may not like what Roland does, but they know what he does. They don't know what I'm going to do. But you guys haven't. The Sable Church has never been a ruling entity in Gloomrot. We've been a powerful voice, but we have never ruled. <sighs> yeah. You understand what the problem is. And it's not like Raven Queen is spreading love and peace. No. That's a good It's downside. typically winter and death and comfort for the bereaved. Yeah. He says, so, from your story, from what I gather, you lost two towns. Two towns were lost under your watch. His face, like, like, kind of, everything just kind of goes together, just yeah. like tensed up. <sighs> yeah, she says, your old home, and then Ashton. Yes. Here's a question I want to present to you. 
Do you want to add glue rot to that list? Because if the prince keeps doing what he's doing, the city will slowly but surely collapse. It may not be as abrupt as the other two. But... But it will happen. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I'm not... I'm not not feeling the pain people are suffering here. I just... I just don't... Like like you, I, I'm even further I, I i'm not even an angel like like the devil they know is rolling the none angel us, they don't is you guys angels. yeah and, and i'm just a bystander angels, yeah. like yeah. i know but that's how can you how can you bring people together like when they already given up themselves she says they haven't exactly entirely given them up. Given up sixty years ago, there was a revolt against the prince, and he butchered them, and that's when they lost right. everything. No, they had lost hope long before that, and yet some people arose. They were able to give them hope. Like who? The the woman now known as the widow of the walk. The widow of the walk. Ooh, task, quest, put it down. Yeah. <laughs> the widow of the walk. All right. Yeah, she. She was able to unite the people of the city. The problem was one of her allies, so-called, betrayed her. <sighs> Same story. Mm. So sad. So, she's dead. She is not dead. She's unable to move on to her final rest because during the battle, Roland took the artifacts belonging to her children and gave them to his allies. So she's still alive. Just She's a ghost. Yeah, shit. Ghost. But if you want people who can rally... The commoners. Might I suggest Midnight's Own? Midnight's Owl? Own. Own. Oh, interesting. O W N, yeah. Huh. If, if it helps, imagine them as like a militia almost. Mm -hmm. Dedicated to standing against the corruption of the city. <laughs> okay I'm done <laughs> yeah <laughs> alright alright so they are a small yeah they appeared groups. in the wake okay yeah, they appeared in the wake of the rebellion they vowed to never let that fire of hope go out but the problem is they don't trust well they don't trust much yeah Anyone else? She thinks for a moment and says, You're already acquainted with Jenny Akarat, aren't you? Yeah, but her family, though. Her family is a family of monsters. I am not going to lie. No, not There's just a reason monsters. the families... They, they're compared to devils yeah. because of their, their stoicism and their cruelty. Mm. But here's the thing about them, about that family... Jenny has proof that not even they can strike out 100% of the time. Furthermore, even though her reputation among the nobles is that she's a whore, she has a love for the city. She has worked to help people in it. People know her. Yeah, but we were supposed to get her family's help. and If she's in charge of the family, she will give it to you. But that's the thing. Like she has so many, you know, family members holding the position. She has, she has five siblings and the family patriarch. See, that's all that stands between her and the throne. Oh, you're not suggesting. Oh, I'm not. I'm not suggesting anything. Uh. I'm simply informing you. Yeah, I. 
hmm, sell like things really hard, robbing his temple, and eventually he just says, "I don't really want to come to that, but they are really hard to convince." It may have to. It, I'm not saying it has to come to anything. I'm saying that she has five older siblings, all of whom are ready to tip, are ready to step in and rule when their patriarch dies, and their patriarch shows no sign of dying anytime soon. You're making it really hard for me. Yeah, <laughs>、uh, <laughs> uh, Sal just like sh- like shake his head real hard. To- Just as if he can shake off all the evil thoughts, and just like, well, I guess that's about it. Oh, by the way, we also have. Oh shit! I can't tell you about it. She, she says, "Well, if you're going to go to, if you're going to go, if you want to deal with Midnight Zone, something you need to understand about them is first, they don't trust easily." Seconds, they commit. They are, they're for lack of a better word, they're a terrorist group. They see the city crumbling, so they engage in acts of terror in order to draw heroes into the city.、Yeah. Heroes who would fight their little petty acts of terror, see the greater wrongs in Gloomrod, and then work to change them.、Mm. All right. And what about the temple? What about you guys? She says, she just says the city must survive. Ah,、uh, I don't mean to be rude, lady. I just met you today, but I don't know. Like you guys are all the. S- I I don't want to accuse anything. Like, let me be very clear. Clear. I respect you and your position、uh, as a pontifex. But I start to feel like everyone is standing idly by, hoping someone else to do what they're supposed to do. You see, Sal, it's not that I'm standing idly by. Imagine, if you will, the pieces of resistance as five separate parts of a shirt. That are, it's just, it's, imagine a piece. Imagine resistance as a shirt divided up into different parts. Alone, the parts of the shirt can't do anything. We're not waiting for someone else to do something. We're waiting for someone to stitch that shirt together. That's a lot to ask. I'm no hero. I'm I'm no savior, like Sal just kind of, just kind of. You're not the. You not, don't have to be. But I'm not the rallying guy. I, I'm not the、you、the、can. guy who would wave the、be. flag. You don't have to be. You're not going to be the guy who waves the flag. You're going to be the pedestal. That hold. You're going to be the stand that hold the stage that holds up the champion. Am I able to? Like, I'm a nobody. She says. She shrugs and she says, "I was a nobody too once. I'm still a nobody. Nobody knows my name. They only know my title." The, you you rise to a really high position. <laughs> I know, but again, the difference between you and me is almost negligible. No one knows who you are. No one knows who I am. They know what I am. They don't know who I am. I'll, like always, see what I can do. I, I don't give promises lightly because I I know I can't do、Not、much. Do I? So I mean, I, just remember, sir. One small bolt, one small pebble is enough to start an avalanche. One small nobody may be enough to start a revolution in the city. Oh, and uh, yeah. You're right, and、uh, I just want to tell you something. So,、uh, we have certain allies where you、oh? you you might not see eye to eye, 
Let's just put it like that. What shall I ask? I can tell you. Yeah. Uh, so I can tell you, but if the time really comes, can you promise me to put aside your differences and deal with Roland first? Are you referring to the undead of the graveyard? It I'm, seems like she's smiling. I'm not. I'm, I'm neither uh, confirm nor denying anything. <laughs> That alone says enough to me. <sighs> Wait, you knew? Hmm? How? Huh. Anyway, I just... know the undead exist. Yeah. Like, you know, like I said, think about what I said. Even if you decide not to ultimately act upon it. All right then. Uh. That. I I guess that's pretty much it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, You're welcome. And one one last thing. You you said nobody knows your name. Uh, yeah. Care to share? <laughs> yeah, I, it's pr it's pretty lonely. I I would assume. Like it is. Having it's no lonely at the bottom. It's lonely at the top. Yeah. So that's my name. My name is Nero. Okay, Nero. I'll just spell that. Oh. Yeah. The high priest. Yeah, she just says, she says, Salvatore. It's, you may think that you're the only one going through troubles, that you're the only one who knows what you've suffered. Other people have suffered things quite similar to you. I don't say this to mitigate, to deride what you've suffered. Only that if you do seek comfort, that source of comfort may be closer than you think. I, I would, maybe, I guess. Uh, thank you for your kind word and, oh, when you mentioned suffering. His face looks really stiff when she says about suffering. And yeah. he just says, are those, are you aware of the asylum? Uh, she, she nods stiffly and says, the problem is it not, and it does not lie in exterminating it. Why? The problem is, the problem is in lying lies in how do we trap them there? Because if they're on the verge of being overrun, they'll just teleport out, like a cancer going into remission. They'll just keep coming back again and again. But letting it rot is not a, not a solution as well. No, it is not. You understand the problem. Can't you? Well, can the temple do anything? Like it, it can do quite a few things. But like I said, solutions are only temporary. They can afford; they're mortal. They can afford to wait for centuries if they have to. But they will come back. I I, I want, want to make sure that they never come back. I want to make you a deal. Like huh? I will. I will definitely help the city with all of my power that I can. But please promise me that once Roland's problem is solved, we'll deal with this. And I mean really deal with this. Of course. You're simply giving me what I want. You're, you're giving me two things that I want. Of course I'll agree with that. I want the mind flares gone as much as you do. I want them dead. I really, I'm, really just want them dead. I want them all gone. I want them all destroyed. But since that's impossible, I'll have to settle for the ones in the asylum. Yeah. I, I, I'm not asking much. I'm not asking to wipe out a whole species. I just want no. what's inside the asylum, everything dead. As do I. As do I. But like I said, 
you need to find a way to stop them from running. Because if they if they think they're going to be beaten, they will run. Yes. Like the cowards they are. Yes. And those who side with them, even they're one of our temple, well, one of your temple now, I also want them destroyed. No one willingly sides with them. They're either mind controlled, or they've been, or they've been turned into a slave, or they're being tricked. <sighs> that's all. That's pretty possible. The thing, though, most people don't know the truth about the asylum, because again, I don't want to cause mass hysteria. I don't want these things running away to where I can't find them. I want this thing uprooted, root and branch, and never coming back. It's a deal, then. In return, I wish to ask you something. Go ahead. Do not tell anyone about the truth in the asylum. Well, it's kind of late because my friends know, so. <laughs> That's fine, as long as they don't tell anybody else. Uh, okay. We can't have. I don't want those things realizing that I'm onto them, panicking and then escaping before I can do anything about them. Because if they escape, I will never find them again. Okay. You have my word. Thank you. I nod and I. If there's nothing, and else. and before you leave, she says, "By the way, about the original Inquisition thing." Yes. About the original Inquisition, I honestly had no idea that it was you. When I gave the order, I thought it was just an accounting error. Someone to look. Asked them to look into it. I thought it was just an accounting error. It 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 is me. I'm really sorry. Yeah. I got mine. Controlled、you、by Neo Gs. I'm so sorry. Yes, and you apparently lost your sword. You apparently lost what you got from there. I、so. lost everything twice. <laughs> so you've been. I'd say you've been punished sufficiently. I'm、yeah. not going to say anything else about the matter. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. And you leave. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll bow and then take my leave. Yep, she gives a little bow back. She goes back to her prayer, and you go back to your friends.、Mm -hmm. And we will stop here for the night. Ah,、oh, that's a lot. That's a、yep. lot, man. That's a lot. <laughs> oh, we're gonna see Kelby next session. Yay! Yeah, next session Kelby's gonna wake up. And he's gonna go cray cray. <laughs>、right. So head out quick. I have quick some question before you go. I'd、yeah. like to ask you how you felt about meeting the campaign's villain.、Uh, me or both of you? Okay.、Uh, the little girl. That's the main villain of the campaign. How'd you feel about that? Wait, seriously? Wait, what? What the fuck? Serious? The spoilers. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> why、yes. would you spoil well, something like that? Come on, man. man. <laughs> well,、uh, here's the thing. It's not really spoiling much. But <laughs> no, but the thing is, is, you 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 forfeit a chance to stab us in the back. <laughs> no, I know. Well, here's the thing. first thing you should you should be wary. This person just walks up out of nowhere and starts giving a we, starts giving you advice, starts displaying all this knowledge about you. We just thought there are a ghost that <laughs> stays in your name. I mean, that was like mystery. They knew this is your past. She knew your names. She didn't give you hers. You should have been suspicious. No, we're not, because、uh, there's just way too many people who suddenly appears and knows our name and、no、seems to know everything about、you. us. So <laughs> we we are not suspicious at all, because、I'm、so gonna, many、uh, people have done that before. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go. go.、Yeah. All right. Bye -bye. Good game. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yes, we we can still. Everyone、talk. knows about that. You know what that says? That says I'm gonna lock my diary. Uh, you were cutting out. Sorry. Uh, so, no, I was just, I was just saying it's.
everyone knows everything about you, that means you need a better lock for your diary. Yeah, and we're getting famous. Yay! <laughs> yeah, this is like, yeah. So I'm a nobody. I'm nothing. I'm a no one. No one knows me. And also, everyone so knows my name. Everyone knows that his personal information is all over the internet. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of like, you know, someone leaked my information on the internet and suddenly I become, you know, five second famous. It's like, pfft, okay. <laughs> but yeah, that's, 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 that's great. You did a really good job. Yeah. Oh, you're cutting. All right. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. I'm 